What's going on, everybody? Gilmore here with you. Get my specials on the screen. Ten left. We're going to start off the show today with a bonus. Let me go grab that bonus. Our first half special is coming up. Make sure, yeah, everybody can hear me. First half special coming up right now. at 150 got to close before the break it's very simple there it is there it is got some candy from a store in Chattanooga the hot chocolatier that is great Great. VV South is live. Yep. All right, those are the bonuses right there. What's going on, Keller? City and White Pulsar Soccer. That's what we need to close. Got two cards numbered to 11 in it. Two guaranteed parallels numbered to 11. Doing good, man. Doing good. Waiting on some Advil to kick in. My head is thumping. <clears throat> It'll be alright. I got two La Liga blasters left. And those are the specials on the side of the screen. I got a special guest coming in uh, in just a second.
I guess I don't. It's not letting me use Facebook Messenger for this. Uh, nobody, nobody, nobody. Let's see if this works. What's up, Gilmore? What's going on, Charles Perry? How are you? Going well, fine. Hey, I can't make the camera work for some reason. Um, I got my video on now, so. Oh, okay. Let's see if this works. Oh, uh, no. It's not going to let me do it. It wouldn't let me wow. do it earlier in the settings. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We got, we, we got your voice on the screen. So, guys, you may not know, but this is Charles Perry. This is Mr. Off Center. <laughs> uh, hey, Charles. Uh, yeah, um... I just wanted to have somebody on for, you know, just just, just to kind of BS a little bit. Uh, Drew obviously can't make it out today. So, like, uh, what's going on with you, Charles? Nothing much, Gilmore. Just enjoying our weather. It's 39 degrees yesterday. Nice. You picked up any off-center cards lately? Um, no, I picked up some nice cards lately, actually. <laughs> some nice cards lately. Nice cards. I, I, I seen you out there sporting them Herberts. You're like uh, walking out here like Mr. Moneybags with these Herberts going, <laughs> going, just like, you know, making it rain Herberts. PSA's flying through those, too. Oh, they and, are? Uh, well, they got delivered Tuesday. PSA accepted them Wednesday. And Friday, they were in uh, stage three. They're in grading already. Well, nice, yeah. nice. Amazing yeah, one. So what, what, what are they charging you for that? Uh, three hundred bucks a card. Damn. So, <laughs> That's I why they fly. It well, it's worth it with those anyway. So. Yeah, it's it's amazing. We'll see what happens. It's amazing how fast they can move when you pay them to move. <laughs> if only we could do it with every card. Yeah, they look at my twenty dollars that I gave them back in August and go, I can't do anything with this. <laughs> hey, I did pretty well on those. Yeah. The, I got. I'm getting my uh, September shipping shipment. Uh, I got the shipping notice today with the tracking number, so I got twenty-seven cards coming back. Nice, nice. How'd you do? Um, well, it was my first ever submission, and I am. So it was 27 cards. There were 13 nines and 14 tens. Okay, that's about normal from what I'm seeing. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's so, been about the rate. You might have saw the rates Jared posted earlier on Jim Mint. Yes, I did see that. I did see that. You know, he, he had some good points in there, but I think there was, uh, you, you know, it'd be interesting. We joke around about my OC curse, but... It seems to be across the board that that quality control on centering is just terrible. Yeah. On, on everything, tops, panini, it doesn't matter. It, it just seems like those cards, a lot of them are off center. Yeah, I know. And like I think that could be impacting the number of tens because people are pulling cards. They don't know what they're doing. They're pulling cards, and they're submitting everything, not paying attention to whether that's you know the centering is right or not. Yeah, but like they the rate. The, the 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 rate of tens even on like eighteen update has decreased and eighteen update is like is borderless so you know it's really weird. Well, I saw that's the uh, that's the Otani right? That's Otani's rookie. It's Otani Acuna Soto. So the the one thing you know I I did see uh, I can't remember who did a video on it but it. it was actually using the Otani 18 update and showing the centering that there is a way to be centered or not. And I'm just, you know, it, it's, I'm not saying it's definitively why those rates are going down. I'm sure there's a lot of reasons, but, um, you know, I, I think people are just submitting everything, assuming it's going to get a 10 because it just came out of a pack, you know? Well, I mean, here, here's why I think the rates are going down. And this is like a lot of people disagree with me here, but I don't think people are opening up new product to get this. I think they're 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 buying them from another dealer, and what they don't realize is that dealer declined to submit them to PSA for one reason right. or another, and they're exactly. actually buying seconds and don't realize it. 
absolutely. I, I agree with that. I yeah. completely agree with that. It, it's the same even, you know, eBay people are buying bulk cards. I bought a a bulk lot of 25 to Brian Hayes uh, paper prospect, you know, first Bowman's. It's 25 of those. Yeah. And, you know, I'm not a professional grader in, or by any means, but clearly 20 of those had some form of whiteness on a corner or something. It's not going to get a 10. You know, so maybe five tens out of the 25 lot that I bought. Now, fortunately, I didn't pay that much money for them, but you know, I, I just think that the, the people are smart enough to not put valuable raw stuff on, on eBay now. I think it's it's tough. Yeah, it's, it's, it's really weird, man. Like, um, the, um, a, a lot of the perceptions of uh, people when they go buy cards, they go, oh, great, I'm buying raw cards, I can sub them to PSA. Uh, this has been to PSA three times already. <laughs> right. <laughs> exactly. I'm, I'm, I'm starting to, uh, other than the, you know, I'm, I'm, there's piles of, piles of cards in my, in my boxes now, and I, I decided the last year's been a little ridiculous, it's time to sell stuff, and you know what's going to PSA is primarily, you know, numbered cards, serial numbered cards, or you know some of the things like Otani that I know will get a ten because it, uh. it, you know I'm looking at it and it, it looks great. But, um, you know, I'm I'm just trying to be selective what goes to PSA and then, you know, I don't know what I'm going to do with the other stuff. Yeah. Well, good. I mean, there's there's been a, there's been a noticeable decline in the values of PSA 10 base stuff. Like, you'll see instances where the player balling out, but the PSA 10's fallen. You know? I, like, there's a simple explanation for it, and it's because, well, PSA's sending a lot of stuff back. There are more out there. There are more out there in the hands of people that just want their money. You know? So, yeah, I... so there's more on the market. Yeah, I think it took a year for for the you know you, if you think about it you know we're we're sitting here getting our submissions back from September and when oh. did you know the pandemic hit Mark you know February March last year so yeah that's supposedly when the you know it, card card collecting was going up a little bit before that but you know the the uh, exponential increase really came uh, you know right right at the pandemic people sitting at home pulling their cards out showing their kids you know those kinds of things and yeah um you know and then and then how many people actually graded those you know and, and anything i had that i started pulling out was stuff from you know the 80s and 90s not necessarily valuable nothing was nothing was graded from my you know my childhood cards but that's when i started buying new stuff again and then it really took me till September to submit anything to PSA so the newer stuff like you said the influx is coming from uh, those submissions now coming back from you know August September October they're gonna start coming back and yeah that's what it is it's the it's the modern uh, modern stuff like you said the base cards that's what people were submitting Hey, what's up, copy? And the reason that's what they were submitting is because, well, I mean, that's what they, that's what they have. You know, they're, they're not, no one should be under illusion that Jim Mint copies of any base card is rare. The Trout update, not rare, right? The Luca Prism, not rare, right? You know, do I think the Luca Prism should be worth more than a thousand bucks? Yes, absolutely. I think Luca is a, trans, a transformative player. I think that card's going to be well over a thousand. But right now, yeah, here's a uh, here's a buy it now at uh, nine seventy four. I love that they're calling this pristine because that's not what PSA ten means. Right. PSA ten has never meant pristine, and I can look at this card and I can find two imperfections just right off the bat. So like, uh, yeah, pr call it pristine if you want, buddy, but it's not. <laughs> you know, I was thinking about that the other day. It'd be interesting to get your opinion. 
Do you think PSA will add any kind of gem mint plus or pristine or gold label, anything equivalent? Because it seems like the other grading companies all have that, but I don't know how the, how they add it now after the fact. No, I don't think PSA will because I don't think PSA wants to uh, wants to muddy the waters, right? The the reason. Do you know why people send to PSA? Do you know why PSA is king? PSA is king because simplicity. It's easy to understand when you look at their grades, and as a submitter, you know you can sub your cards with a reasonable shot at getting their highest grade. You send to CSG, you have near no shot at getting like a reasonable percentage at their highest grade. You'll get a couple here and right. there, but you have no shot at going 7 for 10 in their highest grade. No shot. But PSA, I mean, that's a very re very real thing. You can sub 10 cards, and you can get 7 tens, you know, mm -hmm. if, if you're watching what you're submitting. But CSG, SGC, well, SGC you probably can too. Uh, uh, BGS, you can't do it. You can't sub the BGS uh, unless you're unless you're resubbing raw, raw card reviews uh, with BGS and get that kind of rate. So that's, I mean, they're kings because they've um, they've kept they 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 realize that it's the submitter that's their that's their customer. And with sure. uh, with other companies, like it's it's not as friendly towards the submitter. It's friendly towards the it's friendly towards the buyer of the card on the secondary market. But prices right. prices will never reflect that because submitters are also what they're secondary market buyers too. So <laughs> it's kind of this vicious cycle. That's that's why the perpetuation <laughs> of PSA is a thing and you know will be a thing and until somebody uh, somebody is able to to grasp that. Right. Spellman, if you can afford a CSG 10 card of any kind, I, go for it. Th those are, th I think those are going to be premiums eventually. Uh, I think the CSG 10 is a bit a bit like the BGS 10, you know. Serious card, serious card. BGS 10s bring, right. bring a premium rare. over PSA 10s. You got a lot of nine and a halves, and that's, yeah. you know, that's perfect. But, uh, not perfect, but, you know. People say PSA 10 equivalent. I don't think it's quite that, but uh, I think every CSG 10 will PSA 10 would PSA 10. Um, oh, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I think a lot of CSG 9 fives with 10. I think it's a case by case basis depending on what's wrong with the card. Like I got some in this stack that I think would PSA 10. Like I don't think this hurts with PSA 10. Because PSA looks at these silvers and they 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 they're really picky about things on the surface. But however, I think this Jalen Hurts would PSA ten because the surface is clean. You know. Right. So what's on? That? So we got uh, nine and a half, nine and a half. Yeah. Yeah. So that's just that's just how I look at it. They're looking at they're looking at slightly different things. Um, I both love and hate subgrades. <laughs> they can kill you. I mean, I do like seeing what's wrong with the card, mm -hmm. you know, but at the same time, seeing three tens and a 9.5, you just get aggravated. Like, couldn't you just give me a, a 10 on the corners too? You know, is, there, is it really that much of a difference? See, that's another reason why that layer of complexity actually hurts them when they're getting, when they're getting card, when they're functioning as a grader. Uh, there's just more things that can go wrong when you sub a card. You know, say, oh, we're grading this now. Jesus, great. Another another thing you can ding me on. <laughs> you know? Right. Right. Like, if you're taking yeah. a test and the tests have equal weight, like, if you're looking at taking the ACT or the SAT, and they have equal weight for collegiate recruiters, and one's easier than the other, which one are you going to focus on? <laughs> you're going to focus on the easy one. <laughs> sure. No, they, I I get it. Happy Memorial Day, Eddie. Eddie. Greg Rezebeck has a question for you, Charles. He wants to know what your most cherished collectible is. Ah, uh, Greg. My most cherished collectible. Let's see. 
So I've uh, I've talked about this with Gilmo before. A lot of what I have is not massive valuable. You know, even the cards I have, um, everything really has a story behind it or just happened. So I have a lot of uh, Cubs jerseys that I got growing up as a kid that are signed, uh, you know, in person, people that I met. Um, uh, Greg Maddox, Billy Williams, Ron Sano, you know, a lot of big time Cubs players that I was had the privilege of meeting. And, uh, you know, I did that with my mom, uh, who raised me as a Cub fan, you know, and uh, so a lot of those that's where the, the cherished comes from. It's it's the memories behind it or the story behind it. So I've got even a lot of, you know, five dollar cards in my collection that just I can pull them out and say, This guy did this or look at this card. You know, to me the the neat thing is like pulling out the hoops card with Jordan wearing number twelve and you say, you know, this is the only time he ever wore twelve and then you tell the whole story about how he's you know, they lost his jersey and he had to borrow a jersey and you know, um uh so those are my treasured collection collectibles are the ones that I got to actually meet the people as far as cards go um, again no massive and actually Gilmore those two Herberts that I pulled are probably the two most valuable cards I've ever owned in my life <laughs> we'll see what happens but uh, you know I've got a Nolan Ryan rookie I've got uh, a couple Mano cards now just bought a Trout rookie I mean it, again it's not I'm not going to retire off it like with me, it's it's not more. It's not about any one card. It's it's about a library of cards. You know, with me, uh, right. you know, I, 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 I my collection, my collection, quote unquote. I'm kind of more on the dealer side, so it's really more inventory. As sad as that is to say, but uh, it's more about thousands of cards than it is uh, about about one specific card or whatever. And uh, my business model is not doing well right now in that respect because of the decline the decline that you see right now is in base cards it's not in high end high end is flourishing mm -hmm. high end is baller it's the base card market that's that, that's quote unquote tanking right now and when we say tanking we mean it's down like 20 percent you look at a ronald acuna update you can get them for 250 now they're around two now now they're around 210 200 and that's probably the most extreme version. Uh, Tatis is down, even though Tatis is balling out. Yeah, Jeff Spellman, that's Charles Perry. What's Deci up, Spellman? Decided to bring him on when Drew called in sick. <laughs> I'm happy to be the second choice to Drew Gilmore. Appreciate it. Well, I mean, Drew, Drew's on the payroll, so... <laughs> I know. It's not, it's not really fair. Some of them guys talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So really what I'm, uh, you know, my the, the focus of my collection, the stuff that will go to Lily, um, is really, you know, I'm trying to get the rookie card of each of the goats, really, is what I'm doing. You know, I've yeah. got, um, you know, so I've really got... Uh, a couple big ones you know i've got to get a brady rookie i've got to get a jordan rookie you know when that will happen who knows but yeah um, I, I kind of feel like those are the the two i don't know uh generational storylines that are missing right now I, I think you could put tiger woods in there and yeah i think i've got right. tiger yeah yeah so just the you know the big names from from each sport and I and I personally like I uh, I love Roger Maris I don't know why and uh, just I've got 20 different Roger Maris cards and we'll hop all over those you know he's not even in the Hall of Fame but it's just you know that again it's 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 a it's a cool storyline there will always be the 61 home runs you know that kind of thing but that's yeah, a beauty yeah that's in the briefcases today nice. Why don't you give me a briefcase? Ha! <laughs> uh, I'll, have, I'll, have, I'll talk to my people. We could do a first of its kind. I should just buy into a break right now. I could be on live with you while we break. I, I mean, we, we, like, I've, ta I've, I've, uh, 
I've tossed around the idea of calling people when they do custom do personals. That's fun. That would be fun. Oh, the other the other uh, thing I'm working on, and it's not going to be cheap, but um, you know, Tinker Average to Chance is the classic 1908 Cubs uh, double play combo. Yeah. And I bought online. I bought uh, you know wooden plaques to hang on the wall of them. Huh. And I have one T206. I got to get the other two. Nice. So. You know, I I, uh, I can't remember where I bought it from. I bought it on the uh, buy sell trade group. It's a so. very famous infield. Yes, and the uh, chance. Uh, I think it's uh, chance that is ridiculous priced, even in a you know, even in a one. Yeah. So. That's what you get though when you play in that district. When you play in that high rent district. Right. That's how it be though. Uh, Spellman, yes, I've lived in Chicago land my whole life, um, with the exception of one year down by Gilmore. I lived in Atlanta from 2001 to 2002. It trips me out that you guys really call it Chicago land. Well, it's Chicago land anywhere, uh, you know, probably 45 minutes out of the city. Once you get further out than that, then it's just Illinois, but. Yeah, I, I, I get why you Detroit. call it Chicago Land because it's such a sprawling area, and you can't say right. Chicago when you mean Rosemont or when you mean uh, a, a suburb of Chicago. Right, and that's one of those things that I try not to do, unless it's somebody that is clear, like talking to you. If I had just met you, and you said. Um, you know, where do you live? I'd probably say something like, I live about a half hour west of Chicago. Or I live, you know, maybe I'd say the Chicago area, but yeah, I'm not one of those people that just says I'm from Chicago. Um, not for any reason other than I just don't live in Chicago. Yeah. Um, it happens in Atlanta too, but we don't, we don't say Atlanta land, which, because that would be really funny. But we say Metro Atlanta. Right. Yeah, so I was just going to say, Metro, or uh, I believe I used to say the, uh, well, I actually did live in Atlanta, so, you know, I'd say I lived yeah. in Atlanta, but um, I worked in Marietta, so, um, yeah. you know, that was that was the Atlanta metro area, pretty much, you know. They got the Braves you know. now, so. Oh, Marietta's got the Braves now? Kind of. They're in Smyrna, okay. which is, you know, right, right. right okay. there, right on the 75 corridor. Yeah, Truist Park sits in Smyrna. Yeah, I was down there for the All-Star game. You know, I didn't go to the All-Star game, but I lived close enough I could hear the uh, fireworks and stuff going off. Cool. So. Atlanta Atlanta. Northside Drive. Yeah. I know exactly where that is. You exit, and there was a place called the Mousetrap right in front of you. Huh. I know, I know exactly where that was. <laughs> <laughs> You can actually see it when you're on 285. Yeah, not that I knew anything about the building or anything or what it did. Or but, what what um, went on inside it? Absolutely, just like the Claremont Lounge. I was never there. There's a reason why <laughs> you're never there. You can't prove it. <laughs> right, you can't prove anything. So, um, no, I moved down there. I was doing film down there going to a film studio and um, I moved down uh, August 2001 so we all know what happened a month later and I had three job interviews lined up for September 2001 and wow. I think when that happened and being away from my family for the first time I pretty much knew I was going to be there a year and then go home it, it, it was just hard being away yeah. from everyone and not knowing any I didn't know anybody I had a roommate who I had never met and uh, you know we both went to the film studio but uh, fortunately the job I ended up getting in Marietta was with Cobb County uh, juvenile court and then uh, uh, the my boss was actually from a town up here from a town called Arlington Heights so we connected pretty quickly and that at least made me semi-feel at home 
Well, there you go. So that club, the Mousetrap, it changes names about every three years. Oh, okay. Yeah. Gotcha. It's, I, th I think it's like, um, I, I, I think it's like uh, something sports related, like sports time now, like a sports bar. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, good for them. Oh, it's probably still really seedy, you know. Right. Uh, Spelman, I used to go to a lot of Cubs games. Up until this year, I had uh, season tickets, but I let them go this year because I was pretty mad at the Cubs, so I just uh, I, I didn't renew them. So I've been to one game this year. Wow, I've been to more games than you. You have. Well, right. part of that, too, is we've been we've been on very, very, very strict lockdown. So, oh. you know, we're finally coming out of that to where um, uh, I think yesterday was the first Cubs game they had like 25,000 fans at it before it was, you know, it was limited to like 10,000 fans. So. Oh, wow. COVID been dead for like two months here. <laughs> that's a joke, by the way. But yeah, there's a lot that's of the way people act. A lot of places that COVID ended six months ago, you know, people just said, yeah. screw it. <laughs> yeah. Right or wrong, that's what it was. I'm not passing any judgment on anybody, but it, it's, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yes, Jeff, I'm mad at the Cubs. I, I think they've just mishandled this whole uh, supposed dynasty. Mm. Not a very good show. My mom used to watch it. No, oh, Dynasty. <laughs> <laughs> Dallas and Dynasty. My, my family's was Dallas. So we, we had every Friday night was Dallas. I was like eight wow. years old. And my parents were so into that. And, and we'd go to uh, friends' houses and watch it. You know, kind of like how, uh, I don't know, what's popular shows. You know, people do used to do American Idol watch party. You know, they get together with their friends and watch American Idol. Wow. That's how my parents did was, was Dallas. I remember as a kid... Like, my mom was watching it one day, and my dad walked in with a beer and went, This is effing stupid. Walked off. <laughs> <laughs> Nick Castellanos is in Dynasty? <laughs> Nick Castellanos with a dot drive to left field. So, anyway, I want to express my sincere apology. <laughs> so, Tom Brennan. <laughs> All right. Oh, Tom Brennan. Oh, Tom Brennan, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, Charles, what are you into these days? Like, what are you looking for? What am I looking for? What, for cards? Yeah, like, like when you're looking for cards, what catches your eye? What are you drawn to? Uh... You know, for me, for me, I think what uh, what got really, I'm not going to say old because that's not a fair comment. It, it, I, I think I bought what I needed of 2020 cards. Now I'm really looking forward to some of the 2021 stuff, you know, the, the especially the NFL stuff in pro uniforms. When that, you know, when the first uh, downers drops, when the first prism drops, those are going to be you know, kind of what I'm into, just trying to, again, get the, the top quarterbacks and stuff like that. Um, 2020 Bowman was fun because of Dominguez and all that. I don't know a lot of the players in 21. I think yeah. I have a lot of who I'm supposed to, but we'll see. The 21 has one monster in it and one guy that could be a monster. Uh, Austin, Mon Austin Martin's a monster, and uh, Blaze Jordan could be. We'll see. He's got a great name, so. Right. I, you know, what will be really interesting with some of this, you know, with some of these prospects is uh, is the YouTube influencer, uh, you know, and, and TikTok and Instagram and all that, where these, these guys have videos of themselves crushing home runs at, you know, 13, 14 years old, and I think it's uh -huh. raising the hype on them substantially to where they're, oh. they're known by people just because of that world. You know, I think that's something we've always had. Maybe not quite to this degree. Maybe not on so many players. But like before, Greg Jeffries ever took a ever took a swing. We saw him swinging a swinging a bat in a pool. You know, media's right. always played some role. But now it's like 
there's a lot of different media, right? Right. I think that that's where I'm going with it. Yes. I, re I remember as a kid seeing, you know, videos of, of the prospects and, you know, ESPN would come on and do their top hundred prospects or whatever. I, I think where this, the last few years to me is, you know, the, the kids just have one of their friends go to a friggin' high school baseball game and say, Hey, film me and we'll put it on TikTok and we'll, you know, yeah. and I think that's, it's huge and it's awesome for every sport. Um, uh, I don't know if you saw it, but uh, Devin Hester's kid uh, is eight years old, and he did a hype video of him, and it's one of the funniest things I've ever seen. I mean, it's so cool. It's so well done, and it, it's just hilarious. The kid's eight, and he's got this hype video with, you know, the, the background music pumping, and it shows him just, you know, breaking kids' ankles, you know, with his juke moves and stuff, and it's like, well, there's the next Devin Hester coming up. <laughs> But I, th I think that's huge. I think that that's, uh, you know, the Blaze Jordan and, and uh, you know, I've got two cards. I think cost me like five bucks a piece. But again, I collect stories. Um, I bought the Leaf uh, gold autographs. They're both numbered out of ten. Uh, or one's out of five. One's out of ten of uh, uh, Patterson. What's his first name? J Cordell? No. A baseball player. Um Patterson is his last name. He's the one that threw like 98 in the in the pitching simulator at the at Rocky Stadium. Oh, um, I don't know. Uh, and ended up so they they did this video of him on on YouTube. Don't like Corey Patterson? No, it, it it was last year or two years ago. I don't know. It was a huge viral video. This guy is just at a at a Rockies game, drunk off his butt, and he gets up into the pitching cage and throws a ball 98 miles an hour, and does it again. And then they posted it on YouTube. Well, he ended up getting drafted by the A's. I think he's with. He got traded or released, and then signed by the Twins or something. He'll never make it. But again, it's just got that story. And he is in minor league baseball now, just because of a YouTube video of him throwing in a, you know, pitching cage. Yeah. Um, and, and, and you know, Blaze Jordan, I think, is the same way. If you look on YouTube, there's videos of him from five years ago just smashing home runs at, you know, 12, 13 years old, and. Um, so yeah, I, th I think the those are definitely cards that I want to have, and I've got you know a lot. Of, I happen to get into a, a team break and and got the uh, the Red Sox as one of my teams. So I think I've got you know five Blazes, Jordan Chromes, and a refractor and a bunch of paper. But um, yeah, they're good cards to have. I just don't feel as excited about them as I did or do about you know last year's like the Dominguez and Bobby Witt and all of that well I mean no you, you're, you're right not to be that excited because Dominguez and Witt are better than any two prospects in this and plus you have other guys like Robert Poisson um, no, no 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 last year's 2020 Bowman is way better yeah it's just it's just not close there's another uh, 2021 prospect that I'm pretty big on and uh, you know my old brain starts forgetting stuff really quick but um i pulled a really nice uh parallel of him that i got you gotta remember who it is i'll pull it out here and then i'll, I'll know <laughs> whip whip it out whip it out dude so you also gotta remember i went to bed at three o'clock in the morning and i got eight for the third day in a row so yeah it's five hours that's plenty of time yeah you're good you pansy my karaoke habit is uh, paying off. Yeah, yeah, it's also costing you a lot of sleep. Yeah, but I figured I'd be out uh, singing anyway, so why not get paid to do it, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. I hear you. Blaming all of my roots. Charles <laughs> Perry's, they're doing friends in low places. All right, so, Charles. Right now we have bonuses going. We got thousand dollar reef cases going. I got a ten at one hundred with ten left. Uh, we have not tapped into it yet. It is a big briefcase. Uh, five hundred dollar break credit, fifty one Bowman set spot, uh, sixty tops Maris uh, All Star PSA five, forty play ball is all are all in briefcases today. I have a twelve at one fifty that's got to close before the dinner break. 51 Bowman set spot, 2007 top Chrome basketball spot, 86 Fleer mixers, 19 Chronicles Illusions, Chronicles football, 
uh, some set spots, some high rollers, some set spots. You got it. Also, if you want to look at the website, and, and you do because I'm going to make you, this is not an option. We have a bonus meter going right now of 10. We have this VB South Sunday All Show. First place is a 51 Bowman set break spot. It's a $170 set break spot. Second place is a 40 play ball. Third place is a 75 tops mini. That takes place across both shows. Then we have our level ups. Then we have this $100 Memorial Day weekend bonus, which rolls through tomorrow. Uh, three prizes. There's a $500 break credit. Break credit. There's a 2003 Upper Deck uh, Top Prospects baseball box spot and a 18 top chrome sapphire spot involved in that one. That's a big boy promo. So yeah, all of the uh, promos go. That might happen in Rosemont. <laughs> Just like uh, do a duet. I don't know about that though. I'm 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 a, I'm a camera hog. Like uh, Gilmore doesn't share glory. I was just going to say that, Gilmore. You're singing by yourself. I don't know why I'd let you on stage with me. Right? <laughs> I don't want somebody screwing up my, 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 my amazing uh, performance. I mean, maybe in the maybe later in the night, we might have to do a uh, duet appearance. All right, here's what we're going to do. First entry into the 150. We're going to give you, we're going we're gonna to do the gaggle. First one's going to be a Joe Burrow Luminance. Followed by a Justin Herbert Gridiron Kings. We're going to give you the top two quarterbacks to get in our 150. Nice. Select football mega not on the site. You tore those up last night, didn't you? Let's see. Let me products. Select football mega. You are correct. They are not. Why are they not? should have been all right it's up now Greg Greg there's a uh, Cole commit in uh, pack three just so you know <laughs> yeah the the, the the curse of the Perry <laughs> here we go Justin Herbert and Joe Burrow are gonna go to the first person to jump in our 150. Because that's how it do. That's how it do, Charles Perry. That's how you do, Gilmore. And you don't have to be on here for any specific time. Specific time, you know, when, when, you, when you, you gotta go, you can bail out as, as you want. You know? Is that your way of saying you've had enough of me? No, no, that's my way of saying you ain't on the payroll, so you're a free agent. <laughs> that's, a, that's the uh, polite way, you know, when you're having a house party. It's healthy. You know. yeah. Don't don't feel like you got to stay. You can leave anytime you want. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, it'd be nice if Herbie would keep following me around. Instead of Cole Komet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you could turn all your Jake Fromms into Herb Herbs. Oh God. Jake, Jake Brown and Jake Beeson. Yeah. J Easy. J Easy. Man, I'm flipping through my uh, PSA case here, Gilmore, and you've helped me get a lot of good stuff here. Yeah, uh, you've had some good pulls over the years. You've been breaking with us for a good solid two years now, so, you know. My first break with uh, VB was in 2018. Oh. And that was, I, I didn't do it much. I did a few. Um, and one of the first, you know, to talk about uh, the beginner's luck or whatever with VB is, uh, so that was my... Uh, Steph Curry SPX auto out of 10. Nice. I remember that card. It, it was out of 100. I remember that card. Nice. Yeah, that will go down for a long time. My 
regret sell. I think we all have one of those. Yeah. And I sold that for about 750 bucks, and mm-hmm. I bet it's five or six grand now. Yeah. Mine's a Trout Bowman Sterling Gold Refractor Auto. But, you know, who knew? I sure didn't. Right. I should do the, ve- the Vegas Dave thing and pretend like I knew everything before it happened. <laughs> yeah, I pulled it in 2018 and put it up on eBay right away for like 250 bucks, and it sat for like five, six months. Nobody ever bought it. So I pulled oh. it down and just let it sit for a while, and then about a year later, a year and a half later, I put it up for like 700 and it was, and it went. Yep. Spellman, you're killing me, man. That's a nice card. Yeah. If I, if I could turn back time, I'd go buy all that mess. <laughs> <laughs> So, I was thinking the other day, I used to go to my friend's house, this would have been late, probably early 90s, his dad had every 50s and 60s baseball card you can imagine, all in sleeves, all in just immaculate condition, and how we would drool over those things, you know, because they were, you know, 35 years old, and uh, wow, you know, and, and now I'm thinking back to, that's my cards now. You know, yeah. the cards from 1995 <laughs> or, you know, 1985 and 1995. It's the same time frame mm-hmm. of, of uh, you know, if kids were looking at my cards today. Yeah. I got a big card that's, like, going to pop any day now, and I'm sitting here just, like, refreshing it in the gym and portal. So... <laughs> Wander Franco Heritage Gold Refractor Auto. There you go. Oh, you showed I remember seeing that one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because remember, I pulled one for me out of a personal box that I broke, and then the very next box, I turned around and pulled another one for a customer. <laughs> That's awesome. Gotta love when that happens. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I've got, hmm? got two gem in orders with you, Gilmore, both from uh, September. Yeah. Annoying as crap. I check those every day. Me too. You ever pull them up and go, why the hell did I sub that? Yes, oh, all, all the time. <laughs> like Clyde Edwards-Alaire. Right. And I still believe in Clyde Edwards-Alaire. It's just like collectors don't. <laughs> My Drew Lock stained glass. <laughs> <laughs> well, the good news is you're paying 20 not 50 or whatever. Right. That was the best thing about my PSA order. I think I mentioned that to you. My entire PSA order, 27 cards, was uh, uh, 275 bucks. Because I had vouchers, and then it was still only like, it was like, I don't know. 15 bucks a card then or something. Yeah. <laughs> Who's going to get us started today? We've been on for a little while and just like no no action. Let's get some promo loving today. Let's get some of these promos running. Tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to turn on another layer of dippage. Gilmore's bringing out $100 eggs. Ooh, egg me. Remember, the Burrow and the Herbert are are in the first ones. 
Burrow and the Herbert because that's still on the table as well. $100 eggs. People love eggs. So all this dippage. And anybody looking for a cheap buy, I'm still 100% all in on Chronicles. What a set. Yeah, I love Chronicles, dude. Like, I, I just think there are so many, like, good cards you can pull out of Chronicles. The uh, Rated Rookie Acetates are great. The Prism Black are just phenomenal. P Prism Black oh. is just a great, great-looking set. Uh, the condition on those are better than the uh, base prism. Uh, I like clearly because I'm a sucker for acetate. The score supplemental set is ugh, great. I love it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Granted, there are some designs that look like awful. Like, I, I don't care for Dynagon at all. I don't care for the Omegas. But, like, I like Luminance. Like, last year, Luminance was a good product. Mm-hmm. You know, Luminous was a good standalone product. Uh, the collegiate Luminous this year was a good product. The ear early Luminous, which had the collegiate players, this is like Luminous up update with them in their pro uniforms. You know, there ain't nothing wrong with Luminous. You know, just good looking stuff all around. All, all around. Yeah, you're right. With the. Uh... With the Chronicles, yeah, the, the only one I'm not a fan of is Dynagon, and that's, it looks like they took the player, put it into Microsoft Word, and had it glow around it, you know? <laughs> yeah. Like, I, I can get with it when you're looking at some of the parallels, but, like, base Dynagon is like, what are you doing, bud? Right. Just, just get out of here. Nobody likes you here. It's got that weird glow around, you know, the, the quarters are, you know, around the player, so the lines uh. are just... Greg Rezebeck has closed some select, and he will be Ooh, first. Nice. He bought my last select mega box. Yes, we have. It's probably because I'm so, like, uh, I don't want to toot my own horn here, but I brag about it a lot, so, you know. It's easier to sell products when you yourself think they're good, honestly think they're good. Like, one of the hardest, hardest sell out there for me, and I just, I just don't do it, is when I have a product on the table I don't like. Like, it's, like, I, I, like I'll tell Leighton, I'm like, Leighton, you can send that to me, but it won't sell with me. And he's like, well, why not? I thought you were a salesman. I said, well, I, I am, but I, I don't, I can't sell things that I'm not behind. Like, you know, I'll open it if somebody wants it, but I'm not going to sit here and go, you know, hey, this is the greatest thing since sliced bread. I don't think any, anybody on VB does that. You know, you know, Sam doesn't do it because Sam don't know. So, so like, uh, but me, it's like, no, that product, that product's tired. I've even said a few times, like, I don't know why you bought that, but you know. Yeah, I don't understand 19 Illusions basketball retail. I don't, I don't understand it. But you know, I know I, I wasn't like pushing it. It just kind of sold organically. And that's fine, too. Like, a lot of people say, well, Gilmore, we hear you, but we like what we like. It's about the consumer. And I get it. I get it. All right, here we go. Eggs for Greg's. 250 high roller spot. $5 break credit for Greg Rezebeck. Greg also takes the first spot down in our big bonus. And he takes two down in the 10 at 100. Clinton Seal also gets an egg. And that is five dollar break credit for Clinton Seal 
Yeah, but Jeff, you just have a much better shot at getting them in Chronicles. Like, you just the odds are just better in Chronicles. Chronicles is just better than Illusions. Greg R with a select Mega 04 for Greg R. Good luck, Greg. Clinton, you also got in our bonuses tonight. You got in our uh, All Show $50. And you got in our 10 at 100 and it has 7 left to close. What I like about select is there are two numbered cards per box. Two numbered copper die cuts, and they could easily be, be big rookies. Now there's Drew Locke, and we got our first numbered die cut. It is Joshua Kelly. Not the charger you want, but we'll take some reckless Kelly. Charles Perry started VB Midwest. <laughs> T. Higgins, Jerry Rice in the red. Concourse. CD Lamb, these are my favorite inserts from these. These select certified, these old school select designs. I love them. Rugs. I think we got Jeanette a. And pack three, remember. This is pack three right here. Yep. That was my call. Derek Henry. Derrickton Evans. Barry Sanders and Michael Thomas. You're wrong, sir. You're oh. wrong. Apparently, <laughs> that's the only one I buy them. Yeah. TJ Watt, Michael Pittman, Red. Nice. The other copper to 355, Devin DuVernay, Tyreek Hill. Antonio Gibson, Daryl Taylor, Derek Henry, Alex Smith. Justin Herbert in a concourse. A red die cut of Clyde Edwards at Lair. Nick Bosa Mooney. Justin Herbert's a pretty good quarterback, I hear. Jeff Okuda, Red Stefan Diggs, Unbreakable Brett Favre, that's not actually true, he is very breakable, it just took some time, <laughs> Devin DuVernay, Jake Luton, oh nice, nice, this is a, this is a good card, we have a field level, which is the highest, the, the most rare level in these, uh, Joe Burrow red die cut prism. A field level Burrow. Good card. That's a good one. Hot card, hot card. Jerry Rice, Watt, Van Jefferson Silver. This is a nice Burrow. Mahomes and nice! Select die cut red Tua to Vungaloa. That's another guy Charles Perry couldn't stop pulling. Yeah, that was a nice curse to have for a while. Yeah, yeah. And Jalen Hurts. Jalen Hurts was a big one too. Yeah, yeah, the boys from Alabama. Actually Jalen Hurts is from uh is from Texas, but you know. We claim him because he went to Alabama. We go. Well, yeah, we he, on Charles G. He played low U for a little while, Jeff. Not long. He's a Bama boy. 
Nice, Greg. We'll pop it in just a second. Let me get you all sleeved up. This is a really good, really, got, really good mega. We got CG one and CG two. He probably has no clue who's talking to him. He has no idea, but it's quite a role reversal right now. Yeah. So we had all three quarterbacks, all three Group A quarterbacks in this. Burrow, Herbert. And uh, Tua. Great. Good little mega box here. It was. It was a good little mega box. It's fitting. The last mega box is always the best one. The last mega is always memorable. Greg Rezebeck already has a briefcase today. I did a show last night, and we, we had, like, one briefcase fill. So I'm, like, I'm not opening one briefcase. We'll fill it towards tomorrow. We'll, we'll, we'll put it on tomorrow's. Hey, Gilmore, why don't you open one briefcase? Because it just feels like womp, 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 womp. You know? Because ego, that's why. These go to Greg. Greg, I'm just going to put these in your box here. <laughs> Don't forget, he also got the two Chronicles from it, too. All right, let me grab a uh, Chronicles blaster off my shelf. You guys may notice this little shelf in the back now. This way I can put more product at arm for arm's reach. Less trips to the garage mid-show. Gilmore, are those like five uh, 2020 top sets there? Oh, yeah, those were cracked. Those were opened. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I busted 50 of those. <laughs> yeah, I did. So you're the reason I can't buy anything at Target. Yes. <laughs> Screw you. <laughs> That's what I tell people. I'm like, hey, be, be better. <laughs> like, I did not use a bot. I've never used a bot to acquire anything. I'm just sitting there clicking with a mouse and a credit card. I've had to put my daughter in counseling now because she didn't get her 2020 Nico Horner. Probably needed it for other things. Oh, she collects her burrows. She probably needed counseling for things besides that, too. So <laughs> just kill two birds with one stone, and you're welcome. I have her dad. She was born into counseling. <laughs> like, you're welcome. I will now give you the, uh, the, the push you need to get the help. <laughs> her birth certificate is mom, dad, psychiatrist. <laughs> interesting. Mine's mom, dad, alcohol. <laughs> Charlie G, I got a nice uh, Nico coming back from PSA. It's PSA 10. I'll have to flash it to you when I get it. You might, you might want to avert your eyes. He's going to flash you. I am. And he doesn't even know who I am. No, he doesn't. Twenty twenty one box is soon. Uh well it really depends on what it was, dude. Uh I don't see one cl oh you closed legacy. Yeah, we'll do that next. Sweet. I wanted to see legacy. I haven't seen legacy live yet. Uh, yeah, neither have I. 
All right, Chronicles Blaster five. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. Break. You know who I can't figure out why they keep uh, putting in these sets is James Morgan. James never going to play Morgan. I pulled a ton of James Morgan. I pulled a James Morgan auto the other day and a contender's optic. I'm like, are you kidding me? If he ever does play, though, man, Captain Morgan. Point next time? Yeah. If he ever does play, Captain Morgan. Jake Fromm, pink. J.K. Dobbins. This goes to Richard Turner. Jacob Eason. J. Eason. Yep. Robbie Anderson. Jerry Judy. Justin Jefferson. Pink. Jalen Hurts. Clear Vision. I like the Clear Vision set. But I'm a sucker for acetate. Always have been. Back in the day, those acetate on card autos, oh man, even though they're faded now, loved them. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. They had all the quarterbacks in them. Oh. Yep. Pack three. You know, speaking of fading, do you, th do you think, you know, you know how they make those uh, display cases now for your wall? You can hang up your... Uh... PSA cases nice. in them and stuff. Wouldn't over time the sunlight hitting those fade them? Uh, make sure you use them on the UV protection. That still just seems, you know, I've got a lot of things in frames with supposedly UV protection, and you know, those autos are fading, the pictures are fading. Well, yeah, light's the, enemy, of, light's the enemy of ink. You know? Yeah. So, like, I wouldn't, like... Yeah, I just don't think it's a good idea. Like, I, I know a guy who rotates his stuff, but, like, yeah. Yeah, that wouldn't be bad. Ayuk. Kadero Hodge. Tyler Boyd. Nice. Pack four, Justin Herbert. Playoff momentum. Pack four going to Greg Rezabek. That's why you buy these. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those... Good, good, those good herbs. That's Ideally, you, you you want prism black, but you know, right? You'll take a moment. But it's rare. You're you're probably not going to pull a thousand dollar card in this, but you know you can get a hundred or two hundred dollar card and, and well, I mean, you know, grade that, sell it off. Even the thirty and fifty dollar cards. I mean, you're going to make money on this thing. Herbert 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 Silver and Prism Black is a good six hundred dollars. You know. Yeah. And that's the best pull you can get in these. Herbert Prison Black. Daryl Williams. Jerry Judy. Chase Claypool. Anthony you know, Davis. Is a great card, Gilmore. What's that? Prison Black Purple Justin Herbert. It just can't be uh, way off the right. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It can't be way off the right. <laughs> There's a Tua. There's another Tua. See, that's the, the thing about these is the bulk. It, it's, it's about a lot of cards it's not about any one specific right. card it's it's the same as a basketball it's the fact that you can hit multiple zions in one pack and here you can hit multiple herberts in one pack and if you're a seller and you're making you know 50 to 100 dollars on each of those cards that adds up pretty quick yeah assuming you can get them back from psa right Rugs Chase Claypool. Uh, as uh, clearly, Donner's clearly. What I love about clearly is that it's uh, it looks like a parallel of Donner's, like it looks like a flagship parallel. That's why I like it. It seems like they figured out the centering on those two. The the basketball ones were horrible as far as centering. Oh God. 
were messed up. Oh, okay, okay, I thought it was Burrow. Scary Terry, Isaiah Wright, Antonio Gibson, T. Higgins, score update, silver. That's a good card. T. Higgins. Blevins is a big T. Higgins guy. I gotta get Blevins a package out the door of a bunch of T. Higgins stuff. I've been waiting on one specific card to come back to PSA for him, but I don't know that I can. I don't know that waiting on that's the best play. We might be here a while. packs in this. Most of them belong to Clinton Seal. He's been uh, kissed by a rose. Da -da 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 -da. How many people try to sing that in karaoke, Charles? It used to be huge. How it many was huge back in... Mm -hmm. uh, probably mid 2000s it, w it was huge it was every night how many people suck at that song every one of them everyone who tries it <laughs> they don't realize how hard that song is there's certain songs you know like in American Idol when people pr would try to sing Whitney Houston I will always love you and Simon would just automatically cut him because he's like you can't you'll never be able to touch that song I mean yeah. that that's really there's just certain songs and that's yeah. one of them that you can't replicate that song yeah, we we uh we did it in a uh, high school choir, uh, but it took like uh, you know uh, four part harmony to do it. You know, <laughs> no one no one was trying to solo that song. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But no, no, no. no. Uh, appreciation for what they're doing, you know, and I know you know. I, uh, I suppose, though, you know, even when you listen to those singers live, it's still not the same because it hasn't been cleaned up and they didn't get 20 takes to get it right, you know. Well, I don't know. Whitney Houston was right. Whitney Houston didn't need that. Right. Oh, <laughs> Celine Dion does not need it, you know. No, but no. Uh, a lot of the current people, oh, yeah. you know, they, don't, they don't have their auto-tune or they don't have, you know, the ability to fake it, and it's pretty tough. Yeah. People don't realize also, even within like professionals, how extreme the gap between Whitney Houston and everybody else was. It was pretty, pretty massive. Oh, absolutely. I mean, I've heard some phenomenal singers at, at karaoke over the years, let's put it that way, and I've never heard somebody just nail that song ever. I, you know, you always cringe when someone puts it in and they want to sing it. I've heard a couple people do it well. You know, do it at 75% level, but yeah, it's an appreciation for the for the gift. It's sad that uh, it gets wasted sometimes. You ever just tell tell anybody just like no? Yes. In fact, I did three times last night and almost got punched in the face. Yeah. What were they trying to do? Um, you know, it's hard. It's a hard balance with. Um, you know, being a public venue and current music today, let's put it that way. You know, I kind of draw the line. I try to draw the line at at certain words in songs. Oh, profanity, way. yeah. Uh, well, beyond profanity, though. And that's, you know, what could easily be filmed and put on YouTube and you're immediately canceled and the bar gets shut down. Let's put it that way. Yeah. Um, but a lot of today's music contains certain things like that that you know it's just tough it's a tough balance talking about like in, 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 in words and stuff yes yeah yeah, in, yeah you can't you can't do that 
and it, you know it's incorporated into the music and it's current yeah. in today's music but it's just it's not one of those <sighs> things that i feel comfortable doing and uh people get mad they get very yeah. upset um 2021 Legacy Football Box 1. This is a Thunderdome between Clinton Seal and Matt Townsend. Now that is a Thunderdome. Yeah, anytime anytime anyone sticks it to Matt, I'm all for it. No, we're kidding. <laughs> I don't know that it can be done. I've tried and failed. I've tried and failed with Jordan, too. Yeah, yeah. You, you, you and Mike Jordan have some epic battles. We had some epic uh, Panini Black NFL battles. Yeah. I think we got him a time or two, but he's probably uh, 80% against me. It'd be funny if somebody stepped up and said, "Yes, I want to do, I want to do uh, Whitney Houston. I will always love you." No. Why? Because you suck. <laughs> <laughs> I will not let you desecrate. You know what's cringeworthy? That is still one of the most popular karaoke songs, and I just don't get it. I'll let you try to guess. It's a duet. Oh, wait a second. Travis Etienne, number to 50. Uh, you might want to send this back in to Panini for damage replacement. Looks like it's got our razor blade cut on the back. But oh. Travis Etienne, Legacy, number to 50. What's up, Ariana Messerschmidt? To Matt Townsend, Travis Etienne, Deshaun Watson, Seth Williams, Patrick Jones. What were you talking about, Charles? I could stop on that here. This is a, I want to watch this. This is a good set. Yeah, yeah. No, well, I just wanted you to guess the uh, still most popular duet that's sung, and I just don't get it. Why it's so popular? Uh, Lonely Island on a boat. Nope. Um. Sunny and Cher, I got you, babe. Mid 2000s. Mid 2000s? Uh, I don't know. Kid Rock and Cheryl Crow picture. Picture, yeah, yeah, because it's easy. I know, but it's just, oh, it's so it's just easy. Done. People don't get the harmonies to it. It's easy. No, there is no and harmony. Kid Rock's a terrible singer. The song itself was popular for like two weeks on the radio, and it was the only song you heard every 10 minutes. And it just still, even the young kids are singing it, which is weird. They weren't even born yet when it came out, and they just loved the song. Javon Curse, the 299, Terrence Marshall, Greg Rousseau. It's just, it's just easy. Like, the male part is easy. And, like, hey, the girl can kind of sing, the guy really can't, but she can carry him. Pack three. Theory. Yep, she can carry him. Just like Cheryl Crow carries Kid Rock in in, in, in that song. All right, so Legacy. I do have a one time per night limit on that. Yeah, Jalen Waddle, Legacy Chrome. Pack three. Newman, Pat Vermouth. One time per night. I want to see somebody do it and have uh, the girl sing Kid Rock's part and have the guy sing Cheryl Crow's part. It's been done. Yeah. You know, there's some good country out now that people, you know, country uh, in quotes. Yeah. You know, that's out that people are, are singing that, you know. Nice. The, the male parts are usually pretty easy. Mac Jones. Legacy Chrome. Pack 4. TF, I don't know, uh, Ariana, what TF, I don't know what you mean. Jalen Waddle Bass, Caleb Farley, TF, the F, what the F? Pack 5, going to Clinton Seal. Tori Holt. Mark Andrews, Michael Pittman, Bridgewater, Nick Chubb, flashback, Mike Mac Jones, base rookie, Justin, uh, Jamar Jefferson, 
It's mean the. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I, I get that. I just don't get the context context of why you would be saying it here. Like I get what you said. I don't get the why. Mike Ditka. This is a sports card channel. We do sports cards here. You may oh, here's a Trevor Lawrence legacy. If you're not familiar with sports cards, we would be happy to help educate. I just clicked on this vid. Well, congratulations. This is a live vid. We are opening boxes of sports cards for the people. For the people, Tiki Barber, AJ Brown, Tom Brady, or the mini that fell out there. The mini is Zach Wilson. Nice, number six of a hundred. That seven, the Matt Townsend, Zach Wilson. Nice. It won't let you click out. Well, I mean that means our coders are doing their job. Congratulations, good job. You're just here forever then. You can never leave. You can check out any time you like, but you can never leave. Speaking of popular karaoke songs. You own the National Treasures. Yep, yep, you gotta close National Treasures Baseball. Sorry, I don't make the rules. Football. I don't have football. <laughs> no, no, we opened it. Wait, you have baseball there? I have baseball, yeah. I have NT baseball. Oh, let's get that closed. Let's get that closed, right? We just hit a Zach Wilson, number 200. We could CP Bounty National Treasures. Yeah. I'll give a briefcase to spot one. Think about it, and spot one's the spot you want, so it's like you double them. Joe Burrow. Devontae Smith, yellow. Rookies to 150. It's a sweet card. Kyle Trask. Oh, it's not on your inventory. That's why. That's why I didn't know. What, Treasures Baseball? Yeah. 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 Let's that close is. National Treasures Baseball. Pack 9. A strongly worded email. AFK? Nice. Kyle Pitts under the lights. Dalvin Cook, Kyle Pitts. Kyle Pitts might uh, might be in the right scenario here. I wonder why Julio Jones hates that draft pick so bad he wants to leave Atlanta over it. <laughs> yeah. He thinks it's a really bad pick. Mayfield, Russell Wilson, there's a spacer. Which song are we getting stuck in Cop's head? A uh, picture, probably. Congratulations, Ariana. Living my life. Uh, come on, man. Come on. Man. What? You're breaking my balls. You get no, you shut down for copyright. Nobody needs that. <laughs> Alright, we have a jersey autograph of Tylan Wallace. OSU Futures. As autograph two is Tylen Wallace, not to be confused with Rashid Wallace. Gilmore, I'm going to start a petition and get you been Goodwin champs. Nice, won't work. Or uh, uh, Alan Gimplet. Which, one, which one is it that has the weird stuff? Ariana, I'm a hundred. Yeah. I'm a hundred and seven. I'm one of the old ones. Cthulhu. <laughs> Russell Wilson to 199. Tylen Wallace. I'm 107. I just said I'm 107. In dog years. <laughs> what is dog years, Charles? Do you know? 
seven years per year. Seven years per year? Oh gosh, yes. I'm, I'm way over an all or seven then. I'm ancient. They calculate that out because most dogs live between 12 and 15 years, so you multiply that by seven, and that's right at life expectancy. Got another mini chrome, and it's nice. Jamar Chase. This one's not numbered. I wonder what the difference is. Why that other one's numbered and this one's not. Jamar Chase. You ever play that game where you make up an answer to a trivia question on the fly and try to convince people that you know what you're talking about? No, I never played it. That That's what I just did. That's <laughs> what I just did. I made it up. But I believe it is seven. Legends, Javon Curse, the 299. Elijah Moore, this pack 14. Last two packs go to Clint. Mark Brunel. We have a big Mark Brunel fan that, that hangs out here. Sean Wade, Ernie Lamberg, huge Mark Brunel fan. Nice. Have fun, Ariana. Have fun. Coke on. I need, uh, Justin Herbert. It's weird, like, seeing a Justin Herbert card and not making a big deal about it. <laughs> it's, it's a shift. Molden and Jamar Chase. Yeah, it's really weird, like, just passing up a Justin Herbert card like it's nothing because it's second year card. It's, not, it's nothing. I remember when Hoops came out and you passed through yeah. a Zion and I almost said something like, oh wait, not a big one, deal anymore. One second, got a phone call from the boss. All right, boss just sent me a hot, hot dip, guys. Uh, we heard. It. Yeah. Well, no, they were they were muted. Like you heard it, but they didn't hear it. Oh, there we go. All right. A hot, hot dip. Wow, two hundred and fifty dollar break credit. All right, here we go. This is a this is a really hot promo that's just now launching. It's gonna run till six fifteen. Get it on the screen. It's a ten dollar flash promo with three prizes. go ten dollar flash first prize is two hundred and fifty dollar break credit seconds a forty play ball third is a fifty seven top football set break spot fellas that's big timer right there and I still have the other dips up so the ten at one hundred and I gotta go and egg some people too so let me uh catch up on that so we have Greg two three four Four, so it's down to six. Uh, six left. The twelve at one fifty is down to ten. And then we have this ten dollar flash promo. It all stacks, ladies and gentlemen. It all stacks. Stack attack. Yeah, yeah, we got we got some layers going on tonight, man. Uh, big new promo, uh, Jeff. Big new promo. Huge new promo. Well, you pulled that Babe Ruth RPA too. Yeah. Spellman missed it. Complete with Babe Ruth previously chewed hot dog.
We need a Babe Ruth cigar piece. That would be a card. Better Babe Ruth than Bill Clinton. That's funny right there. I don't care who you are. That's funny right there. Especially when you consider that my wife was a White House intern in the Clinton administration. That's awesome. Is it though? Have you ever seen pics of my wife? Doesn't she kind of look a little bit like Monica? <laughs> like I had to have a serious conversation. Honey, did you uh, you ever get freaky with Bill? <laughs> no. You know, she goes on Twitter and comments on stuff. Got a decent sense of humor about it now. Yeah. I suppose you'd have to be after getting your life completely destroyed, but. Yeah, she was more a. Uh, she worked more for a lobbyist than she did that that branch. So. I've had my go around with Illinois politics. I know what uh, that must be like. Big promo up right now. Huge promo right now. Huge. Bigly promo up right now. $10 flash until 615 with three prizes. I'm going to put it on dip meter. Uh, that's kind of the way, uh, uh, Greg, that's just kind of the way the flashes go. Like, uh, you never know when they're going to get put up, and they might, the one might not get put up. You know, it's just, just the way they are. Like, you're never going to be able to have the alpha dip. You just have to look at what's up when you get in and determine what you're comfortable with. But the alpha dip is a lie. It does not exist. Because there's always going to be new dips, no matter what. The whole point of the show. I always just consider myself an early adopter when that happens. Yeah. Sometimes as the purchases are right on the cusp, We'll go ahead and include them, but if they're like 30 minutes ago, there's not really a whole lot we can do. Get yelled at for that. You don't get yelled at, Gilmore. Everybody loves I it. get yelled at <laughs> constantly. <laughs> constantly, constantly, constantly. All right, dip meter's at 11 right now. You got a red phone on your desk. This is a direct hotline for complaints. Mm. Yeah. Although I've been telling people here lately, you know, if you have a have a complaint, you can express it by clicking the X in the top right. If you're on a mobile device, simply swipe up. That's all I gotta do, swipe up. Fifteen dollars a pack for Mosaic La Liga. Best in the world, baby. But as CM Punk yeah, found out, the best. As CM Punk found out, the best in the world sometimes don't matter. <laughs> so I did find one visionary on uh, eBay, so I'm watching it just to see that case hit that you pulled me. Yeah. Roger. Was you... able to find one. It's the only one listed or sold. You found a, Lu a Luca Modric? Yeah, you pulled me that Luka Modric uh, visionary out of select. It's yeah. A case hit. And there's one on eBay right now. I think the bidding was at like 50 bucks or something, but it's still got a few days left, so I'm following it just to see what it ends up selling for. There's probably a couple hundred bucks. No, there's no uh, precedent. I mean, there are precedents for other players. Right. But this one's not numbered or anything, you know, it's, but it is a case hit. You just never know. Well, I mean, you can look at what other players have sell for and then go, well, compared to that player, Luka Modric is this popular. 
So right, but I don't know that either. I don't know how popular he was. <laughs> Luka Modric is like a, a middle of the pack guy. Yeah. I figured it'll minimally pay for the pack, so that's good. It's all you need. Yep, yep, yep. You gotta egg you for Chronicles. That's right. Greg Rezebeck. Five dollars and an after party spot. Greg, so that's ten bucks I gotta add for Greg. I'll do it right now. No more eggs are my favorite promo, by the way. I know. Eggs are a great promo. I just love it because everybody just hops in and egg me. Egg me. Egg, egg me, yeah. <laughs> I wish people would do more of it. Like, uh, we've had a tough go. Greg Ferris stepping in. I love Greg Ferris. Greg Ferris just, just made my day. One spot left in the 10 at 100. Greg Ferris just also took three spots in the 12 at 150. There's seven left. And Greg Ferris also gets five, count them, five eggs. He was sitting there waiting. I bet Maybe he was sitting there waiting. on the scene. Yeah. He was just like going to... Like a wrecking ball. Like, that's probably a fun song. To, like, that would be one of, in, in my top top list of songs to sing in karaoke, by the way. Wrecking Ball. Which version? Miley Cyrus. Oh, okay. The, the OG. The other one that's Wrecking Ball by Eric Church. Yeah, yeah, Miley Cyrus. No, 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 no. 57. That one's too serious. I don't want to be serious. I want to be funny. Oh, Fif yeah. 57. Yeah, if you do that in Rosemont, yeah. $5 for Greg Ferris. Another $5 for Greg Ferris. Two fifty bonus for Greg Ferris. Five dollars. The last song I sang karaoke was because I lost a bet. <laughs> uh, I had to wear a thrift store dress and sing a choreographed version of Reba McIntyre's Fancy. I believe I would have paid admission for that. It was all here's your one chance, fancy. Don't let me down. I got gonged off stage singing, man. I feel like a woman once. Uh huh. We went to a bar and they had where you had to uh, just write any random song down and they threw it in a bowl and then when they called your name, they pulled the song out of the bowl. <laughs> Needless to say, we left right after that. It wasn't very fun. Ryan Steele has closed it and gotten a 57 spot. He's closed our 10 at 100. We've got another one. Ramping Ooh. up. Here we go. we got another one. Let me know if you guys close anything. I'll be glad to open it. But I, I, I don't get like I don't, I don't get like ticker tape and lights piling off every time you guys close something right now. So, All right, here we go. Ah, Leighton just sent out an email. That explains it. We needed that email. We needed that. I want in that 40 play ball. Yeah, that's so great. That's a great set. I got a 41 DiMaggio. Nice. It's a one, but it's a 41 DiMaggio. <laughs> Who cares? It's a 41 DiMaggio, a one. <laughs> hey, do you care this is a one? Uh, no. Yeah, would I rather have a five? Yes, but you know, it's a one point five. Sorry. Yeah. 
but it's the streak year. It's a nice card. Alright, this is the Battle of the Gregs. Good luck, gentlemen. There are some non Gregs in this, but the, the primary participants are Gregs. Roll a one, that's not good enough. Roll a one, that's not good enough. Roll a one, that's not good enough. Roll a four, so we're doing this a total of seven times. Three ones in a row, man. My Terminator oh, armor. You're gonna have to do math there for a while. If I was playing Warhammer, my Terminators would all be dead right now. <laughs> if you don't get that, then it's okay. You're just not nerdy enough. I just laughed to feel included. Greg Rezabek is going to get the briefcase. That'll be his second. So in Warhammer 40k, different armor types have different wound saves. Like when you get shot and they roll to hit. Great, Greg. Just let me know what you want to open. So, so like, so Terminator armor has a wound save of two. So if somebody rolls, say that, say their aim needs a four to hit, they roll a four. Now they have to roll again to see if the see if the wound did any damage. And if you roll a one, then yes, it did damage. Terminators can take two shots before they're dead. So back to back ones on an armor save kills a Terminator, and it's a very expensive troop. So. Yeah. Warhammer, you build armies based on a point total, too. So, Terminators are a significant part of your points pool, especially if you're playing something like Grey Knights, and you've got 200 points on the field just for those Grey Knights. Everybody's like, I don't give a shit, Gilmore. Stop it. <laughs> I do, all right? I think you just made me a little dumber, Gilmore. <laughs> sure. Uh, yes, I painted my orcs last time. I played Space Orcs because they're fun. And it, when when you roll dice with with with, or, with orcs, they roll so many because they get so many attacks. It felt like you were the, the 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 two scoops guy. It was Greg F, but it was Greg F versus Greg R, and uh, Greg R won it. Hey Jeremy, what's going on, man? How many of you are here because of the latent email? Just a just a quick straw poll. I want to see how powerful it is. Raise your hand if you are. Uh, well, you might want to tell me also, so because uh, full disclosure, I can't see you raising your hand. You can't? I thought you could see everybody. No, I'm not all seeing. I'm not the watcher. All those dances I've been doing all along? Yeah, you're over there rocking out at a party in the USA. That was sung last night as well. Mm-hmm. Gilmore, you're kind of up on the karaoke world. I'm impressed. Mm. Yeah, it's been a while. To be a good karaoke song, it has to be easy to sing and very catchy. That's all. That's all you need. You yeah, can have absolutely. hard stuff that people will try because people are insane when they get drunk. Like my favorite is when people try Journey, not realizing how high that is. <laughs> mhm. Mm yeah, that, that's that's probably primarily what has changed in the karaoke world. Is you know when I first started doing it, it was. Uh, People get up and sing, and the, there were pretty much, with few exceptions, people were good at it, like at least passable. Um, now it's, I don't care if you're good or not, you just get up there and scream, and it's fun. Mm -hmm. Which, in my opinion, it should be. Like, it's not Star Search. Yeah, it's karaoke yeah, yeah. Bar, you know? Absolutely. But. <laughs> Sam said he's rocking Journey. Sam, Sam, don't stop believing, because I'll never stop believing in you, bro. Yeah, that gets uh, sung quite a bit now, especially around here because of the White Sox. You know, you got the 2005 Sox. That was their theme song, so. Mm -hmm. 
and seeing the trends now, you know, the 23 year olds coming into the bar now are huge on the nineties music. And I can't yeah. stand nineties music, but you know, it's, that's what their parents were listening to. And so it's, uh, you know, they kind of grew up on that nineties and it goes by decades. I guess it's the same way with, uh, sports cards, you know, but really the, mm-hmm. I think the next wave of stuff to come will be that nineties stuff. You know, the eighties stuff is hot now and then they'll move on. And, you know, you'll get into the nineties stuff. Bill Z gets egged, along with Matt Townsend. Matt Townsend egg right here. Oh, I just dropped all the eggs. Hold on a minute, clean up all me. Okay, 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 good, good, good. Matt Townsend, five dollars. Bill Z Bub, five hundred dollar super high roller. Five dollar break credit and a fifty seven spot. Let me put all that in. There's only six spots left in National Treasures Baseball. I think we can make that happen. Yeah. Probably. I'd That's... post a link to it, but I don't have a wrench. Like, I'm not cool like Drew can. Yeah, no Anthony Davis, Sam. Greg Ferris made it two left. Bill Zellar says, egg me. Yep. Egg me. We just egged him. I got to egg Greg Ferris now, too. There we go. They popping all of a sudden. You know why Anthony Davis is out, right? Because he has a giant vagina? No, because I'm getting his PSA 10 uh, oh. rookie card in the mail. It's just been shipped to me. Yeah. Basketball players same trip, Robert, trip me out. Same with uh... <laughs> I think basketball players are across the board too soft right now. I just think they're too soft. I just bought that trout rookie. I'm waiting for him to go down with a career ending injury too. <laughs> All right. I need to hide these um, dark chocolate cranberries. I need to hide them. Ooh, that sounds good. I need to hide them. No, no they they are good. That's your problem. I'm supposed to be working here. I'm sitting here just crunching down drag I love singing Ricky Nelson man Did you say Nelson to me I think like the, the their, their kids who had that hair band oh I forgot about Nelson yeah what a great 80s yeah well it's, more, it's 90s they were 90s no, Nelson was the 80s, wasn't it? Mm-mm. We're 90s. Can't have been late 80s. No way. 57 to 75 tops mini. That's one of the better eggs. That's going to Greg Ferris. $5. Nelson was 1986, by the way. 86? All right. 250 high roller. Yeah, After the Rain, Love and Effects. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they had these insanely. Like, they had no testicles. Actually, I will say that we were both correct because they got their start in 86. 1990 was their debut album. Nice. Okay. And according to Wikipedia, it says years active, 1986 to present. Somewhere, (laughs) they are still performing. Sold out arenas all across Senegal (laughs) where they just heard of them. (laughs) Some some carnival in Kirkland, Illinois. <laughs> Chris Paul's a gamer, man. Everybody wants to write off guys like Chris Paul, and I'm like, you're, you're stupid. <laughs> people want to people wanted to write off Russell Westbrook. I'm like, you idiot. <laughs> Don't ever run a write off a guy like Russell Westbrook. <laughs> Two 
after. Yeah, that's three. ten now too. Yeah, Greg, you did some damage. You did some damage. Yep, 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 yep. With those back to back, you indeed did. All Zero right. left, and we'll open up a new ten at one hundred. Beautiful. Three, four, five. Let's see. Bill, Bill, Matt. Huh. Actually, I think it was one over. Oh, no, it wasn't. Ryan Steele closed the last one. Ryan Steele closed the last one. It's not one over. Yeah, there he is. Here we go. Briefcase time. Hanson? Yes, we did. Doing it right now. Nobody ever sings Hanson. Greg F. Now you want it, Greg F. There you go, Greg. It's a briefcase. Betty picks briefcase five. Well, because that's what he wanted earlier. Yeah. I mean, it would eat away at him if he didn't. Yeah. Kind of like when there's two boxes of cards left. You buy one, you know you're going to end up buying the second one. does got you Greg nice I gave him a little sign language <laughs> five it's like half of Miss Davis <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Now we got that big bonus. The 150. Here we go. The 150 bonus. We're going to roll it six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Greg F. Greg F. went hard on this bonus. He got all the top five spots. It's all right. There's plenty of love in this one. So let me get this wow. in, in my notepad. Yeah. Wow, that's a turkey. That's a that's a turkey and a half. See, why so can't I do that? He just won a 51 Bowman, a seven, 2007 Topps Chrome spot. A Chronicles and an Illusions and an 86 Fleer Mixer. Jesus. Have a day, Greg F. It's what the randomizer d says. You live by the randomizer, you die by the randomizer. Only after the rain the stars appear. Now it's in my head. It won't go away. Fortunately, I get bombarded with so many songs every night that nothing gets stuck in my head. It's just all a jumbled mess. Here we go. Chronicles Fat Pack for Nick Danger. A.K.A. Matthew Townsend. All right, come on. Prison Black of a quarterback. Prison Black of a quarterback. It's not James Morgan or, or Eason.
or is gold silver? You know, those don't sell for what, what for what you'd think. Yeah, I know, but it's pretty cards. Oh, here's Cole Kimmett. There we go. <laughs> we have a legacy Chrome rookie of Jalen Hurts. Nice. Owner of the best donut shop in the world. Hurts, don't it? Kenneth Murray. I really want that to be a thing. I believe somebody did it. Uh, like a New York donut shop or something. Somebody with a last name Hertz did it. <laughs> like, like if I did it, people say, oh, your name is Hertz? No, I just wanted this to exist. <laughs> oh, you're turning a profit? No, I just wanted this to exist. <laughs> Actually, there is a Hertz donut company in Bettendorf, Iowa, Middleton, Wisconsin, Colville, oh. Iowa. Oh. It looks like it actually might be a chain. Yeah, it is. So I am not unique. Springfield, Missouri. Yeah, they're everywhere. And they deliver. Oh, okay. I, here I was thinking I was a revolutionary. Omaha, Coralville. Oh, it's in Omaha, then it's everywhere. Oh, yeah, they're everywhere. So do people come up and sing like uh, Counting Crows in karaoke? Do they go there? Um, yes. Yeah. What crow songs mm -hmm. do they do? Uh, Mrs. Jones. Um, Mr. Jones. Or Mr. Jones, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. yeah, this is Mrs. Jones. Yeah, I confused the two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Mr. Jones. Uh, there's another one, too, that's big. Um, hold on, I gotta look that up. I would do Holiday in Spain would be my favorite one. No, I don't think anyone, I've never heard that song. You've never heard Holiday in Spain? Shame on you. I've heard the song. I've never heard it sung. Oh. See, a lot of songs, too, you got to remember they don't make on karaoke versions. Oh. You're only going to get the most popular ones. You're not going to get yeah. those deep cuts. Like, somebody was asking me for some Billy Joel deep cut last time. I'm like, you guys, I just can't. You know, and I'll buy whatever anybody wants. I can get it for three bucks a song on the fly. But some stuff they just don't make, and it's got to be a special version because it's got the words on the screen. Yeah, yeah you, you have know? to have the right tracks. Um, and you have to have the accompanying. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah um, I think Mr. Jones is probably the only Counting Crows that's... Ah. Um, I take that back. Somebody did do uh, Palisades Park. Okay. All Bill Z, so no need to separate. Alex Romero. Kubo of the two and the two strings silver. Of course, we're looking for Pedri rookies. Pacheo, Malero, Rodrigo. That is Rodrigo. He's very Spanish. When you sell these, make sure to enable international shipping. Oh, yeah. Javi Antaveros, Fetty, Fetty San Emetero Mosaic Pattern Rookie. Yeah. We doing on a meeting on a Sunday for? You can tell these guys to go to the lake. It's a holiday weekend. Leo Messi Pitch Masters. Nice. Go. Yes, I am running eggs, eggs, Matt Towns, and I opened yours a little earlier. Luis Suarez, green rookie. I'm about to spend a few G's just sitting here buying up soccer rookies. That's what I'm about to do. 
Jamie Marta. I'm going to be buying up uh, Mason Mount. I'm going to be buying up Mason Greenwood. Phil Foden. Pedri. Kevin Rodriguez. Oh, nice. Yeah, but you wouldn't have meetings on a weekend like this, would you? Yeah. Like, I've worked IT jobs where I had to pull some weekends. But it was never, like, full staff, you know? We got big black... Depending on where you work, it's the best day of the week to have meetings sometimes. I mean, nobody's there. That would be a be a meeting of one <laughs> in attendance. Me and the Keurig machine. <laughs> I don't know. I haven't been to an office in two years that I worked at. I've been working at home for two years. Time, that, that time flew. It flew. <coughs> I went in the office last week. It was just surreal. Weird. Yeah. <laughs> I wish him luck. <laughs> You're like, yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> you ever accept just to mess with him? The last company I was at really preached uh, work-life balance, which is why they're no longer open. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, when you start preaching that to your workers, they, they really use it as an excuse not to do anything. As yeah, sad as that those, is, yeah. That's one of those feel-good phrases you put on your banners, but uh, in yeah. real life it doesn't, yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't work. <clears throat> Correct. can't really come out anymore and say we're here to make money. You know? uh, last company I worked at had this big vision of taking over the internet. And I'm like, uh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, some companies are, are big enough where it doesn't matter what they do. $5? <laughs> Break credit? 1973 set break spot for Matt Townsend. I think some of those startup internet companies, you know, started that trend of, hey, let's put a ping pong table in the break room, you know, and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, it was funny for a while and it was cute, but it doesn't work in the long run. Oh, that's still very much a thing in IT. Eggs! Yes, sir, eggs! That's still very much a thing in IT. Um, that's not going anywhere. Like, uh, the last uh, MS managed service provider I worked at, uh, everybody had Nerf guns on their desk. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, they would call out targets and no one was immune. The CEO could walk through there pummeled. Not and even stuff like, like that works. Like that's cute. That's fun. It's spontaneous. I, yeah. I guess when it's a selling point, though, like yeah, yeah. it's in the job description. Hey, we got a ping pong table and an espresso yeah. machine. You know, like I, I think it takes away the spontaneity of it, and it's not. I don't know. It just becomes a joke. Yeah, but it's like not even money. not even like you gotta work your hours. Yeah, not even visiting customers were immune. They would straight up just get murked. <laughs> Greg, yes, I would say that too. F meetings on a Sunday. I wonder if it's a safety meeting. <laughs> we don't really have safety meetings in IT. Not allowed to have safety meetings anymore. Now, the, the there are there 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 security meetings because being safe in IT means something totally different. <laughs> All right, 
I got that $10 flash still up, running till 6.30. It's not closed yet. You still got some time to get in it. Yeah, no one's called me into a meeting in quite some quite some time because well, I guess Leighton has, but it's, it's always Leighton. Leighton calls you into a minute like a meeting like five minutes before the meeting. Meeting. <laughs> he a lot of times like he'll he'll get in he'll get in over his head during a meeting because they'll start talking tech stuff at him, and he'll just conference me in. <laughs> <laughs> like I have no crap been live before, and Leighton has had to conference me in. Because it's some stuff he didn't understand. It'd be like Drew, take over. <laughs> I'm getting ready to go to a barbecue. Barbecue, like an actual barbecue, or are they going to put hot dogs and hamburgers up and call it a barbecue? It's Chicago. It's hot dogs and hamburgers. See, that wouldn't sit right with me. That wouldn't sit Actually, right. This with guy's me. a big hunter, so I'm sure there's going to be some uh, Bambi on the grill too. Oh, nice. Yes. But if you ain't slow cooking, you ain't barbecuing. Barbecue is indirect. Everything else is grilling. I will say, one guy brings. Uh, he, he's the other hunter in the pair, and he he jerkifies his, so he brings yeah. deer jerky, and I gotta say, that's some good stuff. Yeah, it can be if done right. It can be done incredibly wrong too. Uh, Melch, because Top Shot's gotten boring. The thrill is gone with Top Shot with me. I haven't even thought about Top Shots for a while. Could always get in a Funko Gilmore. Just get a bunch of Funko Pops behind you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Chris, have you ever actually collected anything else? I know you don't really collect cars necessarily, but do you have any collections of your own? Mm, I like I'm an anti-clutter guy. Uh, at one see. time I was collecting haters, but you know. <laughs> I mean, I can start up the list again if you want. <laughs> Seriously, there's a Facebook group out there, and I encourage you to go look for it. It's called I Hate Chris Gilmore. Beautiful. <laughs> Mel, it's just Charles Perry. You can make me an admin. <laughs> Let me tell you, Gilmore blows through all my money. <laughs> <laughs> he makes every card he pulls me OC. Alright, let me check see if anybody else is getting in this super sweet $10 bonus. Guys, just reach out and grab you one spot in this $10 bonus. It's worth it. It's worthwhile. It's worthy of your time and attention. This $10 bonus is nice. It's actually running to 630. So it's got 10 more minutes left. $250 break credit. Nice. Much, oh, I agree. Much better hair than J5. Much better. Like, uh, like you know, uh, J5, uh, J5 is the entry level. He's the guy to get you in. Once you get really deep into the rabbit hole, come see me. We talk. <laughs> I like.
like J5 and Sam, but I also like to pick on J5 and Sam. It's a lot of fun picking on J5 and Sam. Now, I don't let other people do it, but I do it. I heard Sam, like, like viciously defend me the other day when somebody called me fat. <laughs> Sam was, like, ready. Sam was, like, ready to jump through the screen and get him. That's my Gilmore. Don't you insult my Gilmore. <laughs> I felt I felt loved upon that day. Yeah, we've had Melch on. Charles Perry is really the only second customer we've had on to uh, kind of uh, be here and sit with the show. You know, that's, and really, this was really unpaired. Like, Charles, when did I ask you to do this? Uh, like four minutes before you started. Yeah. <laughs> Literally, Drew said, hey, I got something with my kid. So I said, well, crap, I don't want to be boring. So. I was taking, I was just coming out of a nap. <laughs> I don't think SS 10s in that group. He might be. I don't know. That group's like a, almost a decade old. Things in my life come spontaneously like that. Yeah. I was out one time with a guy doing karaoke, and he was the PA announcer for this indoor soccer team. And uh, we were talking, and then the next morning he calls me. I'm hungover. I'm still sleeping. He calls me. He goes, hey, our uh, national anthem singer just canceled. Can you come sing the national anthem? <laughs> I was like, what time's the game start? It's like noon. It was like 1045. I'm hungover. And of course, my... Me be me. Sure, I'll be there. All right, so you're, the so you're gonna see it, but this is this is the most embarrassing picture of me as a kid. I'm gonna go ahead and show it to everybody because you know this is on our farm as a kid. This is me and my favorite pet. It's not a cat. You wanna guess what kind of pet it is, Charles? Gotta be a pig or a goat. It's a goat. Yep. I'm on a slight delay, so it'll take me a minute. Oh, nice. Riding the goat. There yeah, it's go. got six minutes left, Jeremy. Yeah, and you are your dad, aren't you? That hair. That's... That hairline is. Zach. Yeah, yeah. Look at that goat. That's a big goat. It's a big goat. It's curly. The part of Alabama gets a lot of kudzu, and we, you know, we we grew crops. So that was our, that was our livelihood. So, you know, we had goats. Yeah. We had generally every form of livestock you can imagine back then, except for like cattle. I mean, why that's not your profile picture is beyond me. It's a little embarrassing, that's why. Nothing embarrassing about that. Yeah. Oh, this was a good one, too. You ever see a big Buddha in the Chinese restaurant? You just want to molest the Buddha. I'm still on delay, so it'll be a minute. Yeah. Oh, oh, there we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Is that a Benihana? No, it's a mom and pop. Oh, okay. Here we go. Little League Baseball. Are you a catcher? Uh, Outfielder. Outfielder. You posted that somewhere before. I've seen that, I think. Oh, you had that up somewhere. Yeah. Stuff like this that we'll never be able to run for public public office. Go. Too much of this stuff out there. Oh, I don't know. 
I, I think I'd be all right. There, there are all I sorts of other not. reasons. The uh, drunk karaoke videos are enough to, uh, to keep me out of dog catcher. What do we got to close, Chris? Oh, uh, National Treasures Baseball would be the good one. Uh, uh, Panini Rewards, Panini Rewards you... Soccer, uh, with the purple, with the uh, the Obsidian White Sparkle would be great. Uh, it's got a decent bit. It's got a decent bit. It's been it's been pretty successful. Put a link to that Treasures up, because I don't think it's in your inventory. Well, it's in the VB inventory. So. But I don't want to go to the VB inventory. I want to go to VB South inventory. Fine, be that way. <laughs> Treasures Baseball, right there. Welcome back, Ariana. Yay! Six bots in treasures. <laughs> you know how you know when you buy too many too many baseball cards when you have a drawer on your desk that's just for credit cards that you only use to buy baseball cards with. <laughs> <laughs> I bet there's thirty in there that only get used to buy baseball cards. Trilogy hockey is also a thing we can do. Court Kings basketball. The new Court Kings. Panini rewards. Uh, he's probably going to get a 80-game suspension. Uh, depends on how the investigation goes, and then he's going to get. Uh, they're going to figure out a way to void his contract. That's what normally happens. He's pretty screwed. Yeah, I think they're already looking at making his money not guaranteed because he's on a an expense or he'll be on a suspension list, and then they can make the contract not guaranteed. So. Well, I don't know how they'd do it, but they, they'll, they'll, they'll always figure out a way because you know, it's his fault, you know. Well, that's the that's the uh, domestic violence violence clause from MLB. That's one of yeah. the, the whatever one of their options is they can make their contract be not guaranteed money. Yeah. Either way, he's pretty screwed. Yep. All right, here we go. Bonuses. Ten dollar flash bonus. Here we go. I rolled a two. One. Two. Greg Ferris is gonna win it. Bill Z is gonna get second place, and Greg Ferris is gonna get gonna get third place. Greg Ferris with a two hundred and fifty dollar break credit. Alright, Diana. Man, did go. Greg F just clean up again? Yeah, Greg F just cleaned up again. But uh, Bill Z got that 40 play ball. That's a beautiful spot right there. Yeah. 
I gotta buy me some spots again. <clears throat> Hurry up, it's gonna close. I know. I should probably just do that now. Uh, good bonuses. You were the... Well, I mean, I guess Melcher could have, too. But you and Melcher have been the only guests who have been guests on the show but had, but could actually buy into, buy, buy into breaks. <laughs> <laughs> Diana Joy just realized that uh, she can't put links in her chat. But it's cool, Diana. I'm not above the people promoting their eBay. If you want to drop your eBay username in there, feel free. Go ahead. I don't care. Gilmore, I'd like to promote my break channel. Would you let me do that? Oh. <laughs> no. Wait, that's a lot to, that's, that's a lot to process, Charles. <laughs> I'm kidding. First off, Charles, I don't think there's ever any way that you could ever leave anything sealed. You are, you are correct, sir. Yes. <laughs> the uh, two boxes of prison first off the line football is a prime example of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't have any breaks, but what I do have is rappers. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Charles Perry break. Breaks. You gotta ignore the scotch tape on the rappers. Those are prizes. You know, Charles, I had this idea of uh, doing this parody break channel. I was gonna oh, call it. Man. I was gonna call it East Alabama Breaks, and oh, all awesome. all the breaks were gonna be composed of retail product that I had just stolen. <laughs> we were gonna do a <laughs> fake like we saw. We were, we were gonna fake like we were breaking from the target target men's room. <laughs> oh, that'd be great. Or you, you should and do it and have like scotch tape on the uh, things. Like open up a twenty twenty box of prism and have some like eighty two Donruss baseball cards in there or something. <laughs> I don't know what happened there. Panini making some weird <laughs> stuff. <laughs> thank thank you for watching East Alabama breaks. We're here in the men's room of this here Target. We got we got somebody. We, we got my buddy Skeeter on watch for security. <laughs> I'm in with you. We could collaborate on that. That'd be hilarious. Oh, this, that would be so good. This here's five bucks a pack, and we ain't got no overhead, baby. <laughs> Passing the savings on to you. We accept only Walmart to Walmart payments. <laughs> <laughs> We could get some boxes of like Little Mermaid cards from the 1990s and like open them. <laughs> I, I got I got Justin Bieber stickers. <laughs> Eighty bucks a pack. Uh, Y'all didn't know old Gilmore was a believer. <laughs> oh, that's great. Well, dang. You'd have to go into like Joe Dirt mode as you're breaking, you know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what that is, but yeah, we're doing it. All right, I think we need a new bonus. I'm still doing eggs. I'm still doing eggs. But let's. I think you need a new bonus too, because I'm just about to click the place order button. So I'm gonna. Well, hold up a sec. Let me get this <laughs> bonus out. Oh, believe me, I held up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here we go. Twelve at one fifty. First place is a 2007 Topps Chrome spot. Second's a 1940 Play Ball. Brand new, starting right now. Get it closed before dinner, boys. I noticed you got that fancy new disclaimer box at the top now when you order. Well, what's it say? I understand I'm not purchasing the actual pack or box, simply buying into a pack's box or set break. 
Yeah, it happened too many times. <laughs> What is going on here? What did I do? Hello, Ariana, again. Hello. Is it me what you're looking of... for? What? Hmm? What? Now I'm just getting a little error here, but I think it's because... I, it's my fault. Oh, it normally is. I had too many numbers in my credit card number. Oh, it's one of them new newfangled super credit cards. Somebody asked me today, "When's Vintage Race going to take Bitcoin?" I'm like, "Uh, have you seen what's going on with Bitcoin?" Can you imagine being a business and accepting that as a currency and just leaving it there? Can you you be you be you'd be closed. This would have ended you. This this current Bitcoin tumble. Mm hmm Bitcoin has halved. You would be done. It would they be well that was fun. To rethink on their decision. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Actually, that really depends on how much of that they left in Bitcoin. Because you could take it as a media. Uh, you could take right. it as a payment, and as long as you were changing it, you were fine. You were saying, okay, let's put this in my actual bank account like, like adults would do. Pesos. <laughs> I think we take pesos now, just run them to the exchange. We take Bitcoin too, you just gotta sell it for cash first and pay your credit card bill with it. <laughs> <laughs> it all makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah. What do you mean we don't take Bitcoin? We absolutely take Bitcoin. It's just got an extra step. I successfully made a purchase. See, I'm, I'm trying to walk and chew gum at the same time and I can enter a credit card number right now. So. Well, yeah, I'm in that you... one, Fitty. Let's see what you bought. Charles Perry got in. Couple play ball spots. Couple play ball. Charles Perry's here to play ball. I am. So I you're am. in the ten at one hundred, and you're in that new that new new one fifty. Six left in the ten at one hundred. See now we can't let that explode. No, it's got to go now. Things start exploding, I get stabby. <laughs> you mess with my emotions. <laughs> I hate I hate it when things explode, just to be perfectly honest. We as a company hate it when things explode. Like it like it deflates the whole show. We're like, okay, what do we do now? <laughs> We have just eroded public confidence. Gilmore, I gotta say, I'm pretty impressed. I'm looking at the slabs I have gotten from you over the past yeah. couple months. Man. Yeah. I, I I don't know what you did. You think I was playing around? We got a Wander Franco, Andrew Vaughn. Oh, you're just talking about freebies. I'm talking about the free stuff I've gotten from you, John did Moran. You did you think we were playing around? Labor. Well, for a while, because I was on a dry spell. Then I got hot. Yeah, you, you got definitely got... I reacted from you. I got yeah. the Acuna, Guerrero. Yeah. You definitely got on a hot streak. Julio Rodriguez. Anybody want to burrow kaboom? I do. I but but like as I told you before, I don't think you should sell that card. I will not be selling this card for a while. Yeah.
Yeah, there's hardly any even on eBay. There's like one or two every once in a while that pop up and they go right away. I need to look at that PSA or when I get it back too because I'll bet out of the 13 PSA 9s I got, I'll bet I could probably crack those open and clean them. It's probably fingerprints on there or something because I didn't know when I first submitted them that I had to clean them. <laughs> so I did pretty good considering I just ripped them out of the thing and sent them in. New ghost kitchen came up, but it's just so expensive. They want 14 bucks for a patty melt. I don't oh, think I can do kitchen. that. Yeah. You know what a ghost kitchen is? A ghost is kitchen. That the, um, the people that are making it in their house? Well, I mean, they, they don't. Um, so they um, they don't make it in their house. But they'll go to like they'll say, okay, okay, we're we're a conglomerate, we own this chain of restaurants, but we want to explore new possibilities, and they will open right. up, they will they will they will and they will put it, like for example, uh, Chili's has a ghost kitchen called uh, it's just wings, and they will they mm -hmm. they they will make it out of their Chili's kitchen, but it'll be branded on uh, DoorDash as it's just wings. Right. Yeah. I've got some of those around here, but they, they, it, the only reason I said someone's house is because a lot of times I'll Google the restaurant name if I don't know what it is, and half the time the address pops up in some residential area in the middle yeah. of the suburbs, you know? Well, no, this is like Hot Box, there's Mr. Beast Burger. You know, these are not real restaurants, but you see them on DoorDash. Mm-hmm. Like it's like the patty milk company is the one that popped up today, and it's like fourteen bucks for a patty milk. I don't think I can do that. Like, I don't. I don't think like that. That, that doesn't sound like something that you just do, you know? Yeah. Sloppy Joe Nation. Yeah. See, this is another ghost kitchen. Yeah, I like that stuff. I mean, it's it's the it's the price, like you said, you know. The, but I think that's uh, unfortunately a coming reality. Yeah. See, it's funny too. Us being in different places. I mean, I couldn't get a patty melt here for under fourteen if I you know if I wanted to. Oh you know, yeah. The value meal at McDonald's here now is twelve bucks. No, not here. I think I know what he's going to answer, but I'll let him answer this. What? Question here from Rezebeck. Oh, my favorite Chicago-style pizza. Well, it depends on the definition of Chicago-style. You know, there's there's different people define it different ways. So, to me, it's the probably Lou Malnati's of the world. Uh I, I love Lou Malnati's pizza. It's not necessarily the biggest, thickest stuffed pizza, but typically the tomatoes are on the top, you know, the cheese underneath that, and then uh, some kind of topping or whatever. But I, I love Lou Malnati's. Um, uh, and then you get into, you know, you've got kind of the, they've become almost chains like the Giordano's and stuff, and they're, they're good. But I, there's another pizza joint actually in Chicago called Pequod's, and that's where they use the, the greasy, oily pans with the, you know, there's just so much grease caked on them from the years that, you know, it just burns the crust edges. You get that kind of, almost like a char on the, on the crust, and that's good stuff. That's really good stuff. Yeah, well, me, like, uh, um, Chicago pizza, like, the stuffed pizza is not, like, true Chicago pizza, from what I understand. Right, exactly, right? that's what I was getting at. 
Like, it's, it's tavern cut. Yeah, there's that way of doing pan pizza, and then you're, you've got, you know, yeah. what we would call like a thin crust here, which is just normal pizza, essentially, but it's, it's, it's good. It's all in the sauce. The sauce. And you can get the, you know, you get, so they, we've got a decent one in w where I live does kind of the charred, you know, pan stuff, but the crust is almost like chewy, and I don't, I don't like it, you know? Yeah. It's tough to get through that stuff. It's like eating gummy bears. They're bouncing here and there and everywhere. What is that beep? What beep? I don't hear anything. Oh. Oh, I'm getting like a, sounded like a, you know, like when the emergency alert system goes off. Oh, uh, well, it's the Amber Alert. I'm in danger. Actually, that might have been what it was. Let me see. I'm in danger. Yeah. Or it might just be my phone overheating because I've been on the phone for so long. <laughs> well, who's going to dip next? Who's going to help? Close this 12 at 150. We got a 10 at 100 sitting with six spots left. Yeah, I mean, I'm emotionally and financially invested in this show now, so. Yeah, right? We need to close this. Yeah. I don't need that stuff to explode. Yeah, I don't like exploding. I hate does it. Does that explode it. at the break or does it explode at the end of the night? The 12 at 150 explodes at the end of the break, but we got time. All right. We got like an hour. All right, I'm going to go ahead and put up another bonus. Because why not? Because I can. Uh, let's see. I'm going to go $10 flash promo promo now until 7:30. Three prizes. It's less time, so it's going to be less. $100 break credit. Uh, let's see. Let's go with a 2020 Tops. Or no, 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 no. Panini Chronic Chronicles Football. Hey, Don. Can you have some sports be any less relevant? Oh, could not be. They, yeah. they just sent me the Marcelo Zuna notification. Yeah, they're, they're trying to, though. All right, here we go. Here is a flash. It's going to run right now that was an RC opening by the way you got a moon pie too I am oh what a great song <laughs> it's actually just like a southern thing you know RC calling a moon pie but what's that song it's uh uh it's Stupid. Uh, I mean, an RC cold and a moon pie. I can't remember. It's a, it's a stupid song. Oh, I love that song though. It's, it's Tracy Bird lifestyles the not so rich and famous. It's dumb. Absolutely, it's a good song. That's I the kind of stuff. That. That's the kind of stuff I rail against. You know. That's because you're authentic Southern. I'm not. You know, yeah. it's kind of like Chicago pizza, like to talk about. Yeah. Apparently, there's an AEW pay per view tonight.
You know, we were talking with Spellman about where I lived earlier. I did go. I forgot. I did go to college for a semester in Eastern Kentucky. Oh yeah. Richmond, Kentucky, Eastern Kentucky University. You're a hilltopper. Is that what they are? No, they're Western Kentucky. That's the hilltoppers. Yeah, no, Eastern is uh, the PKU. Yeah. Yeah. That was when uh, was it uh, Greg Couch played for Kentucky. The, Tim, the Tim Couch. Tim Couch. Tim Couch. Well, his brother Greg was the quarterback at Eastern when I was there. Ah. I think it was Greg. I mean, it was Tim Couch's brother was at Eastern. Ah. Uh, no, I do not have that, Clint. It would have been 96, 97. Saw myself on TV the other day. I watched the 1997 Egg Bowl, uh, Mississippi State versus Ole Miss, and uh, I'm on the sidelines in the street clothes as a as a potential recruit. It's funny. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> yeah. That's cool. It was on TV in the hotel we were at. I asked a question at Jenny Jones once, so I was on TV. What'd you say? What was your question? Uh, well, they had on um, <clears throat> promiscuous kids, so like 14, 15, 16-year-olds. Oh. And uh, I can't remember. I just said, stood up and said some college, you know, drivel, like respect yourself or something. <laughs> you need to respect yourself. Yeah, you know how it was. Well, see, my the, we went as a dorm. And the resident advisor took us all on the on the school van, so it was my whole dorm. And he basically said while he was driving in, he said, anybody that asks the question, I'm going to buy you a case of beer. So, of course, all of us were holding our hands up right away, and I just got lucky and got called on. Uh, but she walked over. I didn't think she was going to call on me. She walks over and puts the mic in my face. I didn't even know what I was going to ask. So I just stood up and basically told her to respect herself and sat down and then got a case of beer when I got back. Respect yourself. <laughs> Greg, the Colonels doesn't sound right to me, unless they've changed their mascot. I I, I just can't remember what Eastern Kentucky's mascot. Man, it is the Colonels. That's so crazy. I tried to pledge a fraternity while I was there, but it lasted about two weeks. Gilmore, were you in a fraternity? No. Uh, I played football. That wasn't our fraternity. Oh, yeah. That's a good point. I did not last long. That's what she said. Yep. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm just not one that, like, reports to people. You know? Like, I'm not a... I don't yeah. know. I couldn't get through the pledge phase because it was just like, you want me to be in your club, but you're going to treat me like crap. Why do I want to be in a club where you treat people like crap? Mm, I don't know. They do that in football, too. It didn't make sense to me. Yeah, they do that in football all the time. Just like, I, I had to get hazed twice because of two different schools. It sucked. But it happened. I suppose you could call it quitting before, uh, I knew I was being terminated. I got called at 3 in the morning by one of the fraternity brothers telling me to come pick him up because he was too drunk. And I told him, no, I have a test tomorrow and hung up. <laughs> so yeah. that was pretty much the end of it. I wasn't allowed to do that. No, you were definitely not allowed to do that. <laughs> 
It's your damn taxi service. Yeah. Well, if, if we get the, if we got that call as oh you yeah, know, then people playing football, you know, we we definitely would have done it just because Absolutely. you know you gotta you know you just, you know you you gotta be there. <laughs> yep. All right, let's see if that $10 flash promo did anything at all. Did a little bit, did a little bit. Ken Fickle, what's going on? Jeremy Stutes. Ken Fickle got in it. Jeremy got in it. Somebody's going to get a really sweet deal on that flash promo. It only has three people in it. Charles Perry, Jeremy, and Ken. Yeah, I backdated it for you, Charles. Oh, that was nice of you, Bill. Oh, shucks. Yeah, like somebody's going to win like a really, really easy layup there. 7.30, we're going we're gonna to break for dinner. And uh, yeah, new Court Kings. Let me check something real quick. I wonder if we could close NT by the break. We could. Or Core Kings by the break. I, I want to see that Core Kings. Well, there's a box, a box of it. Of the other day. I almost bought a box of it the other day, and then I realized I don't like basketball. Kidding. Core Kings is good though. Core Kings is fun. Yep. Like it's better than good. It's fun. Fun is what sells products. I don't think people realize that. Like, yeah, there's value, but yep. it's it's fun. Core Kings too has that artistic uh, component to it that you get a lot of art, you know, uh -huh. collector interest with it. Yeah, that's why it's fun. It's just a very fun product. Kind of like the Kabooms, you know, you get that crossover into the comic yeah. world. You know, that's why they're attractive. Yeah. Be fun. Be interesting. Mm-hmm. Jeremy Stutes got back in. There you go, Jeremy. Oh, that's why, because the last box we have in the company is right there, and it's already closed. Well, there we go. Well, yeah, we're going to break this right now. So that's why it's not on the site, Greg, because we don't actually have it. I thought uh, Leighton just told me the North doesn't have any. So this box is spoken for. I could be a dick and just be like make them wait but no I'm not gonna be a dick don't be a dick Gilmore damn <laughs> ship it back to them tell them to open no no, no, no. <laughs> just just like just like make this one that they, that they sold out wait all right 2020 court Kings basketball box three roll a one not good enough roll a two so it's a total of three one two three here we go, Ron Condino, spot three, Mike Rosado, most of the box goes to Mike. 
go. Maybe Mike and Ron will have time to stop by and watch their box being broken. I was just going to say, they're getting their text messages now going, what the hell? <laughs> the hell, I didn't buy anything. No problem, Greg. Card one, John Collins. Card two, Giannis Ante Tetecompopo. Three, Joel Embiid. Who, it was looking like he was going to win an MVP for a while. Four, Colin Sexton. This is a purple Colin Sexton parallel. Number to 49. Five, we got Dorian. Finney Smith. Ooh, we got a good autograph. Six autograph going to Rosado. Rosado is Sadiq Bay. Fresh paint autograph. Nice. Sadiq Bay, one of the better performers in this class. Seven, Those we have a. Painting. Nice. They are. They are. Seven, we have a Maestro Giannis. Eight, we have a First Steps Obi Toppin. First Steps, of course, is the sneaker parallel. Really popular with sneaker heads. Nine, we have Tyrese Maxey, and this Maxey is a level three Tyrese Maxey. Level three. Ten, we have a base rookie of Kira Lewis Jr. There we go. That's ten. My wife said she wants wings for dinner, so I'm going to be ordering from It's Just Wings. What's your flavor? Uh, I like to mix it up. I like uh, a lot of Asian. I've been doing a lot of Asian sesame here lately. Uh, we have this, this local chain here called Taco Mac. And uh -huh. if I'm doing Taco Mac, I get roasted hot all the time. Because they're roasted hot, cannot be beat. Like, I've tried wings all over the place. I've tried them in actually Buffalo. And Taco Max Roasted Hot is the king. They're not even deep fried. But they're crispy. They put them in a convection oven. That sounds pretty good. Yeah, they are good. Like they brought in convection ovens to this restaurant chain just to, just to do this. But nowadays, everybody's got a mini convection oven in their kitchen. Air fryers. I feel like it's tough to get a good wing around here. Yeah, it's not here. It seems to be like hot is just let's dump as much Tabasco and vinegar on it as we can. I, I don't know. I, I, I get lost in some of those flavors sometimes. So Greg Ferris just went in pretty hard. There are two left in the ten at one hundred. There we go. And there are now this takes away three of this, so we're at seven left in the twelve at one fifty.
and take away three or four. Oh, there was, was there one other 150? Oh, he just took down another one, too, because he used his break credit. Nice. So he closed the 10 at 100, and now we're down to six. And I'm going to do a new 10 at 100. Yeah, Mike, it just uh, didn't happen. The Obi Toppin's nice, but there wasn't anything insanely valuable. The Sadiq Bay is a good card, Mike. Don't sleep on Sadiq Bay. Yeah, Mike, that auto's pretty nice. Sadiq Bay Fresh Paint was your, uh, was your auto, clean. and that's good. I mean, obviously it doesn't have the value like a Lamello has, but... Briefcases here, then we have Charles P. Matt T. This be the first ever live briefcase winner. Come on. Maybe. Well, you got a 10% shot, Charles. Get it. Get it. 10% shot. I rolled a two. <laughs> One, two, Matt Townsend was not to be. Matt Townsend told me before the break he wanted 19. I'll double check for you, Mike. Look at that. I was all the way at 10. <laughs> yep. Sadiq Bay out for Mike Rosado. Sadiq Bay fresh paint, yes, number 15 of 149. There should be a separate set of briefcases for everybody who gets the bottom spot, and it's like get more finger clip clippings or something. <laughs> well, we do sometimes from the butter position. Yeah, uh, Charles G likes that. Yeah, because Charles G's a butterface. Wow. Hey, that could be a compliment depending on what you think about your looks, about your appearance. Like, you could be like me and think there's nothing right. <laughs> oh, you mean I got something right? <laughs> like, if you well, go from you nothing to really something, like it's like... Take it as a compliment. Well, that would be a total misunderstanding of, what, of the term, <laughs> but, you know. Butter spot equals being a guest on Gilmore's show. <laughs> Congrats on your prize. Absolutely. Chris, just hanging out with you makes it all worthwhile. <laughs> Greg Ferris, I'm going to give you a briefcase just because you, you've dipped a ton. ton. Uh, you lost, but you won anyway. But you won anyway, Greg. That's what happens when you carry a show. Oh, I gotta order dinner. All right, everybody, let's let's order dinner with Gilmore. We're ordering dinner with Gilmore. We're going to, it's just wings. They have these wonderful, wonderful uh, fried Oreos. I'm not ordering them though, because they're dangerous. Hey, Let's Gilmore, go. destroy quick. I don't think Greg F knows you gave the briefcase. Oh, you gave him the six. Okay. Yeah. Because he can't hear you, so. That's one heck of a meeting. He's been in that meeting for two hours. Yeah, <laughs> it's a serious meeting. You see how you see how cheap these wings are, Charles? Eight bucks an order. My goodness. And they're real grade A, big deal, big boy, big wings. And that's for eight wings, so it's a buck a wing, basically. Yeah. 
Yeah, and there's a wing shortage in the world. I mean, that's a great, uh, that's, a, that's a good deal. Yeah. Let me look up in, in a restaurant around here what eight wings would cost me. Let me take a look. I'll bet it's 12 bucks or more. Let's see. Like I said, I don't eat a lot of wings. Oh, but to be compar comparable, I got to look at DoorDash, don't I? Yeah. Because they're going to mark it up a little. All right. Let's see. I have a sriracha and a honey chipotle. Let's see, I need a third. Yeah, we don't really like their apple barbecue. Do you have the uh, ten dollar per month dash pass, Gilmore? Yes. Me too. Drew should be on tonight, Don. Uh, no one really knows how much they charge on top because they hide that. I'm gonna People try are this. already missing Drew. Garlic Parmesan. Dumb gave him my password. Here we go. It is ordered. We've ordered dinner. That uh, promo explodes when that dinner gets here or when it completes. So. It's just wings that's done out of the chilies. Ah, oh, DoorDash. All right, I'm going to search for buffalo wings, Gilmore. went traditional, right? Uh, no, I didn't go traditional. No, but I mean, it's just regular wings. You didn't do boneless or anything. I'm doing a price comparison. Here, so. so six wings for me would cost me $11.29. 20 yeah. wings would cost me twenty seven seventy nine. So we're at about a buck fifty a wing. No, I do not have that Michael Scalise. That's going to be a north. I don't know why they hadn't broken that yet. But then again, I can't see their inventory, so... I do not have that. I would break it if I had it. It's been out there too long. Clinton Seal gets in to the $10 flash. Trilogy Hockey, National Treasures Baseball. We have, if you want personals, I got 2020 Bowman Chrome Megas for personal. I also have plenty of uh, Contender uh, Chronicles. If you want blasters or uh, cellos, I've got those. Just, just buy them all, and uh, you'll close it out. Also, these, um, whatchamacallums, uh, uh, Kit Kat, not a whatchamacallit. Uh, Obsidian White Pulsar. People are sleeping on those, and they're very great. If you love soccer, that's where to go. This is two cards number to 11, Michael. 
numbered to 11. Like, you can get a Pedri rookie and the rookie number to 11 in that. You can get a Jude Bellingham number to 11 out of that. Yeah, I can spend 12 bucks at McDonald's. I don't, because I, you know, I have a little bit of self-respect left. Like, I'm, I'm a fat dude. I enjoy food. That's why I don't buy food from people who uh, make bad food. <laughs> That's one thing for me. I don't, I don't take fancy trips and stuff. I buy good food. Yes. I, I, there's something about going to a nice restaurant with an executive chef and that flavor matching and mixing and people that know how to do that. It's... Well, I mean, no, I'm not a snob, but like, uh, I'll, 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 I'll buy five guys. Snob, about maybe culinary school just for a side thing to do. Hey, we've got It's Just Wings here. Yeah, yeah they're good. If you got chilies, you pretty much have It's Just Wings. Is it eight bucks there? Uh, eight wings... You didn't get a combo, right? So uh, eight bone-in wings is nine dollars. So it's a dollar more here uh, than you. Okay. So that's not bad, actually. Yeah, the combo only adds a drink. Oh, I get curly fries in my combo. It says eight bone-in wings, curly yeah, fries, yeah, but side the, of ranch, and drink. Yeah, but the eight bone-in wings without the combo includes curly fries as well. Oh, you're right. That's kind of. Uh, Interesting. Yeah. And I love those seasoned curly fries, too. Well, that's a good thing it's almost dinner time, Jeff, because, you know, now it's the time to be hungry. You're supposed to be hungry. It's near dinner time. What's going on, Brendan Bullet Club? Gilmore, what's the most you've ever spent at a dinner? Uh, like dinner for two out with the wife. For two? Yeah. Uh, seven hundred with alcohol. I think you got me beat. I think four is probably my uh. Yeah, I mean we don't do it. We've we we don't really do it that often. Of course, know. including alcohol, and that can fly up pretty quick. I mean, I'm yeah. talking about just dinner and a bottle of wine. Oh, oh, then it's probably four. We were at a, a really fancy restaurant one time, my ex-wife and I, we were, we were eating, and they had on the menu a bottle of 1908-something wine, and I'm not a wine connoisseur, so I'll just say it was a bottle of something, and uh, it had in parentheses last time the Cubs won the World Series, and it was like $125 a glass. My, uh, That's cheap. We were laughing about it. My wife goes, get a glass. I'm like, no, it's 125 bucks. She goes, get a glass. So we did, and we split it. Oh, it was nasty. It was like vinegar. But I, I can say I drank a bottle or a glass of wine from 1908. Yeah, I mean, well, uh, the thing about, like, um, uh, that that glass of wine, if you, if you got it today, it would be around six, seven hundred a glass. Uh, wine prices have gone up right. exponent exponentially over the past few years. Like, it, it's... Yeah crazy well a lot of that too you know you gotta realize like there, there's a vat of wine somewhere and they just keep adding wine to it and calling it 1908 wine you know it's not like it's just all been sitting there for a hundred years but wait wait what no, no 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 like like actual vintage stuff is sealed in bottles it's not right but those bottles come from somewhere else sometimes it depends you gotta be careful with some of it uh, I think this was the legit stuff but some of it is you know they're, the vat of wine that's you know got gallons of wine in it has been sitting around since 1908 and then they bottle yeah. it but 
Um, yeah, that, that that was probably the craziest thing that I've I've bought, you know, edible wise. But it took to choke down the little glass of wine we got. We had some dippage done by Michael Scalise. Let's see what we bought. There we go. I think he closed that SPX football. Nice. Ooh, we might close that 150 by the break after all. He's got five we left. Can we can do it. He's got five left, and my DoorDash ain't even been picked up yet. It's funny, I have a U-shaped driveway. I got a circle drive in front of my house. And the number of people that pull into my drive, and instead of continuing along the circle drive, they stop. And then they back out onto the busy street instead of just going around the circle. Yeah. I laugh. And I love watching the GPS and watching them blow right by my house. Yeah, they do that to mine all the time. Because <laughs> that hard, people. <laughs> yeah, because we don't live in a subdivision. Right, I don't either. So, like... I, 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 I don't know how I would act if I had a HOA to report to. Pro Easy. Probably not very Easy. well. What? Watch yourself. I don't like HOAs. Screw HOAs. Watch yourself. Why would you give somebody that much power over your life? I'm not in one, but that's my work. That's my job. Oh, I don't care. Why would you give somebody that much power over your life to join an HOA? That's hilarious. Some people want that. Yeah. Mike Scalacy went in and took it down to four left. There we go. There we go. So there's seven. Mike Scalacy taking it down. Taking it downtown. Mosaic football hanger. That's a mosaic football hanger. Unfortunately, I don't have those. I don't have any. I have a prism hanger, but I don't have any mosaic hangers. Just prism. So unfortunately, that's gonna have to wait on the north. I haven't had any of those in a while. Ah, got scratch, got scratch, got scratch, got scratch. I have Mosaic La Liga soccer. some good prizes on that screen yeah yeah it's, we're four away can, from it I know four away yeah. if everybody bought an NT spot we could close yeah. that and open NT yeah four's not well, far we'd have, yeah we'd have two more yeah four spots is not far it's not prism Okay, all right. Let's make sure to see what this is. This is Prism Football Hanger Personal 79. All right, give me one second. Pull some centered prisms, Gilmore. That's easier said than done. But that's, not, <laughs> that's, you know, that's not my fault. You know, they, they kind of just... more angry than that first off the line. Those two boxes and every rookie was off center. Oh, I'm so yeah. mad. Those kind of just are what they are, you know? Yeah. You, 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 don't have, you don't have any control over any of it. It's just... It's just there right in your face. I did get the Herbert Red Wave, and that was like a... That was pretty well centered. Yeah, well, those are the hardest... Those are hard, the hardest to get centered. The, uh, yeah, it, the, the, it's the fairly well centered. Cracked ice red are really tough. So, like, if you've got one of those centered, then you have done good work. 
Well, it's not the correct dice. It's the uh, first off the line red wave. It's, it's oh, one, it's okay. Out of, out of 149. Ah, gotcha. All right, let's take some of this off. Yeah, this was that first off the line exclusive color red wave or whatever it is with the... Of course, I got a commit auto in that too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Michael Scalasi has taken this down yet another one and bumped us down to three left. There we go. And then we're going to go to five left in the 10 and 100. Three left in the 12 at uh, 150. What's going on, Stephen Thomas? Down to three, we can do it. And then there were three. Hiccups. Michael Scalasi came to see me the other day. He lives here in Atlanta. Oh, that's to, cool. Yeah, so he came to pick some things up. Oh, order has been picked up from Mr. Swings, and my dasher is on the way. Three go. spots left. It's practically closed. Only three spots. Oh, we got to get that closed. We can get there. We can absolutely get there. Go. This is a personal from Michael Scalasi, OJ Howard, Adam Thielen, Robert Woods, Jones, Miles Boykin, Ken Anderson, Warren Moon, Deshaun Jackson, Clark. Here we go. We're starting to get into the rookies. Ah, Tamari Cooper, Green, Preston Williams, Evans. Aaron Donald, Joshua Kelly on the cracked ice. Hype, DJ Shark, and AJ Dillon, rookie. Joshua Kelly had a good late season run. Uh, he's definitely in the Chargers future, pl future plans. Um, he's got more upside than any other, any, any, other off any offensive player not named Justin Herbert on that team. So if Justin Herbert does well, yep. it just seems reason that, that Joshua Kelly should get some residual bumpage. And A.J. Dillon is also a card collector. Yep. Michael Scalasi. What'd you say, Jeff? You're doing Kegel exercises. We don't need to know that. Y'all know what that is? <laughs> it's really dirty, what I just said. I got your reference. <laughs> All right, guys. We've got uh, we've got three more spots. It's 7:30. We're on overtime. I'm gonna extend the flash promo to go till the dinner break, and the dinner break is whenever my DoorDash shows up. <laughs> and there are three spots left in the 12 at 150. Come on, flat tire. I have not, Matt. <laughs> I ran the first one, not the second one. So I'm going to go sabotage Gilmore's DoorDash driver. <laughs> right? I did run the first one, Matt, not the second one. Here's the second one. I haven't run it yet. 
Greg Ferris better run yet, the first. Someone just close it. What's that? I said better yet, someone just close it. Yeah, yeah. There are three left in the twelve at one fifty. AEW's double or, or their new pay per view is on tonight. I have it up on my TV right now. It's an actual pay per view. I'm stealing it. Uh, no, Townsend, you get you were in the last twelve at one fifty that went away. Let me pull up the prizes from the last one. Yeah, that's, that's been close for a while. You were in the previous one. Actually, no, you were before that. You were, you were in the original one. Where were you? Wait a minute, one, two. Oh, yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. Yes, you do, Matt. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Sorry, I'm an idiot. This is closed by Greg, and you got in after that. So, yes, you're in. Matter of fact, you started it. Actually, I might be able to fudge that and call it closed. Uh, it's four, five, six. It's got one left, guys. It's got one left. It's got one left. So I need a hundred and fifty dollar checkout, and it'll be closed. Come on. A lot of wings riding on that. Ha! <laughs> Here's what it looks like right now. But it is in danger. Ha! Huh? I'm in danger! <laughs> I sleep in a drawer. <laughs> Alright, they're almost here. Yes, dear? DoorDash is almost here. They're at the red light. Oh, man. Sit tight. <laughs> Sit tight. He's like, you ain't going nowhere. They're going to hold me. Hold me hostage. <laughs> you had to have that dang disclaimer button, didn't you? Let's see. Yeah, yeah. He's turning in. Oh, Perry's like, I ain't letting that explode. Absolutely not. <laughs> no, no, no. One spot stuff. Is like, those, are, those are heartbreaking. Ain't gonna happen. You might as well run it. Later, Jeff. Bye, Jeff. Closed. 
closed. Oh, Charles, somebody beat you right to it. Oh. I'm just kidding, they didn't. <laughs> Wouldn't that be a son of a bitch, though? <laughs> You'd be rolling mine Three. over till next. <laughs> Roll a three. Here we go. There's the winner. Matt Townsend took both top spots. Then Greg Ferris and Charles P. Then Greg Ferris, Michael, Charles, Michael, 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 Greg, Michael. Greg, Greg Michaels takes it. <laughs> That's not his name. Okay, we will roll the briefcases onto the next show. So there are four spots left in our briefcase. And we will continue that. Also, we will continue the 10 at 100 through the break. So if you buy during the break, get it rigged. <laughs> if you buy during the break, then uh, you're in. All right, guys, my dinner is here. I'm going to go eat dinner. Charles, thank you so much for coming on and uh, helping us out. This was it, fun, Gilmore. It was fun. It's a lot of fun. Greg Rezebeck loved it, and Greg's never wrong. So great. Love you too, Greg. We'll see you.